live for mission launch. It ain't a Friday if there's no roll call Friday, huh? Nope. Well, the line's up. Yes, sir. They look good. Uh, uh that's just expected. <laughs> we'll talk about it on the way up. That's on. Houston, this is Boston speaking. Mission launch for roll call Friday in five, four, three, two, one. The Bostonian is Matt Peralt. This is our f city. The book is Dave Sherapan. Pay him. Pay that man his money. Together, they are the Bostonian versus the book. You covered! You covered 12! I covered! Follow the show on Twitter at Boston versus the book. How do you like them, Matt? Bringing you the best insight on sports betting news, Matt and Dave's daily picks, and an entertaining and unfiltered dive into the sports betting industry. Here's Dave Sherapan and Matt Peralt. And here we go. Happy Roll Call Friday, guys. What's up? Happy Good Friday. Big show lined up for you guys today for the Bostonian versus the book. Dave Sherapan, Matt Peralt. We've got baseball, basketball, and all sorts of other fun stuff to roll through. James from Rhythm will be on here in about five minutes. We'll get him his thoughts on what's been going on with Rhythm and the games tonight, the games this weekend. Then we'll get into all this and the predictions and the player props and all the other fun stuff. We are live on our YouTube channel at Boston versus the book and our YouTube channel as well. Here's one thing, guys. There's something weird going on with the ads on YouTube, okay? So normally I can go in and I can make some edits and I can change to how often the ads are going to pop up. Bam. I don't want to see in the chat a bunch of whining today about what's going on with the ads, okay? There's something on the back end on YouTube that screwed up on their end, not on our end. Oh. So I have no idea what it's going to look like today. So just FYI, bear with us. It's not us. It's them. But it might be a little bit aggressive today. I don't know how and when and it'll fire, but just heads up on that. You guys on Sports Grid on the replay and Sirius XM, don't worry about it. It doesn't affect you guys in one bit how are you happy friday dave what's going on you like my uniform today it's the al east yeah but it's the it's the blue jays we're all about the bjs today <laughs> all about the bjs there you go i, I figured I, you might be wearing blue <laughs> that is i figured that, you might be wearing yes, blue yes yeah. this is this is this is this is the last time the jays went to the sweet 16 lost two years ago that's good his shirt looks like it fits better now than it did two years ago. Uh, no, it's a lot bigger. This is this yeah. is actually a lot bigger. I it, know it's, it's a lot bigger. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's <laughs> I'm a lot okay. smaller than I, it's smaller than I was two years ago. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. That's okay. Fits good. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Look, this is a big weekend. This is this is a big weekend for a lot of people. Um, holiday weekend, complete chaos at this house. Good. You know, when I talked to you for five minutes before this about something else. I can't. You can't imagine what's going on at this house. I mean, it's Easter weekend. People traveling. People getting together. It's a big Friday. There'll be a lot of people listening to this later. If you do, please hit the like button. He, please hit the subscribe button. I don't know if I can even hold in my favorite thing about today, which we end every show with. Okay. But the Friday pop that comes from Sonic oh, every yeah. single week. Mikey Awesome cuts a video, puts our faces on different things every week. But so far this morning. The guy that wins it for me, Connor Winsky. Oh, yes. Are you kidding me? We're in the Jamaica. We're going to dab the map all over. We are international. We already are every single week with Vinko Martin Savage over in Croatia, with yeah. Leighton and the boys Taylor down in Australia. We got Zach the Hat over there, uh, up in, I think Zach's in Canada now, but he was in England. We got people all over, but mm. Vinny took the lid. On vacation. He did. he did. To the beach. And took a picture of him with a BVB lid on. Said, hello, boys. Good morning. Checking in today. It's great. It's good stuff. It's good, good stuff. stuff. I can't, I can't uh, thank you guys enough. I love it. Blood pressure medication is called alcohol, Joel. That's <laughs> that, 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 that's what blood pressure medication is for me. So um, there will be alcohol being consumed today. 
during oh. the Creighton Blue Jay game tonight. Late night tonight, but real late for the East Coast folks. I know you guys on the East Coast might be dragging who watched those games last night. You may have it again here today. That game last night, the Iowa State-Illinois game, was in Boston. It didn't tip until like 10 o'clock. 10-10, 10, 10. yeah. Boston I told time. you. Yeah, was, and same thing tonight. Same situation. It's on the East Coast with Detroit and whatnot. So it's, it's late. I mean, it's... Them. They want to cap. To, they want to capture the entire country, and they want to be able to have it to themselves for at least an hour or two. So, yeah, it's late. I mean, Pacific Time Zone undefeated. Totally, completely agree. LL. We call LL undefeated. So, yes, all right, here's how the show is going to go today. Let's go. We've got James and Rhythm. He's coming on here in just one second. Get him in here. Then we will get to the baseball games that are in action at the moment. Look at either live betting opportunities, opening day baseball. Then we'll get to the games last night for the tournament, the games tonight for the tournament. Then we'll get into some roll calls. Then we'll get into the NBA. Then we'll get into the NHL. And we'll get into a really fun topic about Massachusetts trying to decide whether or not you can kick out sports betters, which is going to be really fun. What's going on? It, it, I love Massachusetts. I love them. Mass is saying to the books, um, maybe you can't kick people out anymore. Like, that might not be okay. Asking, they're, they're asking all the right questions on both sides of the counter. Yep. They're holding, they're holding companies accountable for content. They're holding books accountable for if you're really going to book the bets. Are you really going to book the bets? Right. And they're making people accountable for being responsible. It's, it's I love what they're doing. It's great. Let's get to our guy, Monster James Santor from Rhythm. Look at the lettuce. The hair looks tremendous, my friend. I see you're getting all, all, all pretty for us here on BVB. What's up? Happy Friday. It's going to be a good weekend, I think, for you boys at Rhythm. You guys have got a lot of good stuff. Your NBA stuff's been on point so, uh, lately. We'll get to that in a second, James. But how are you? I'm doing great. It's, uh, it's opening day. I'm proudly repping. Look, it's uh, it's been a long off season. Also, a quick <laughs> off season at the same time for the Phils. Right. I am ready to get hurt again. Um, as I've <laughs> said on here, probably every single time a season started. But uh, I'm ready for the Phils. I got some picks for the Phils. Uh, if, should I get them out now since it's a 3 o'clock game? Or? If you uh, want to, sure. Baseball? Yeah. Yes, James. Yeah. Good to see you, first of all. I think all the kids are watching, actually, right now. I want to make sure my daughters are watching. Hey, <laughs> girls, James is on the show. <laughs> Turn on the show. I, was I, like, the blush, I love the blushing that he comes up with when you do that. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not good with attention. I'm not good with it. So yeah, you're you're doing great with attention. You're doing great with rhythm. I mean, like we got JC from KC, this yeah. kid in Cleveland. He absolutely uses it every day. He's got basketball picks. You got baseball today? No, I mean, this is from actually, this is from Juice Real, who's another client of mine. But, oh, uh, nice. This, this is, uh, again, this is what I use. Juice Real is a great app too. Very complicated. You work with Juice Real? Really? Yeah. Yeah, we're talking to them next week. I didn't know that. That's yeah, great. Yeah. Look at that small work. world. Yeah, it's a great app and it's really uh, it's complimentary rhythm in a lot of ways. But oh, cool, I use it cool. to find the best betters on that app, or that's how I kind of do my baseball picks. Um, so real quick before we get into any of the other good stuff, and I want to hear how you guys are doing. But uh, I got Phillies Braves under seven and a half. <sighs> I also have Phillies money line at plus one ten. Bias. That's a bias pick, but also the data said to take that as well. So I feel confident giving it out. So okay, there we go. That's under, right. under, and okay. Phil's money line. I well. was on two unders yesterday. I got my teeth kicked down my throat in baseball. Well, <laughs> unders in baseball. I think the baseballs might be juiced. I, I think Major League Baseball maybe. A one. You think the ju Do you think the balls are juiced already after one they're, day? Because <laughs> they're playing in early April, late March. That they're worried about there won't be any offense because the weather stinks. So James, make, you make used the to balls. pitch. You were a baseball guy. I mean, how would you juice a baseball? Like, Easy. I mean, what, right. how would you even juice a baseball? That's simple. I was going to say the Rockies definitely didn't get juice baseballs. I think they scored 16 runs or something. That's the right. Diamondback. Mean, they, the Diamondbacks scored 16 runs that's yesterday Diamondback. on the Rockies. The Rockies that didn't might score be anything, bad but... pitching. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, tough. Uh, tough right. <laughs> how do you bounce back from that, too? I think, look, the juice baseball thing, it's – Juice baseballs, or is it something with the bat? Like, there's you never know. Like, they're always doing right. different things. They don't want to let us know every single thing going on. Like, otherwise, well, they admitted people, to juicing the baseball. That's yeah. the problem. They they admitted that they've already done that before. It's so, a precedent. I don't, it's yeah, a precedent. I don't trust MLB yeah. at all. <laughs> well, this is so yeah. I, I say pe to people all the time, like, you can feel it when it's different. Like, you know, when a baseball is different. James, remember, like, an up used to throw a ball out, and you're like, this one don't even feel right. Yeah, the, the laces aren't as high. The, the ball feels like a, a, a super ball. 
And yeah. I mean, that's, I guess that's how they could use baseball, yes. right? Yeah. Well, it's different. Like cool. I'm going to use this. This is just interesting for people that like we like to know. In college, every conference has a different ball. So like the A10 had a totally different baseball than like the ACC. Right. So we would be playing, you know, our conference schedule, and I got used to the laces on that. And <laughs> we go play like I think it was the SWAC or some uh, like a random <laughs> conference had literally like it was like little league baseballs. Like the the seams were. <laughs> Like and non-existent, so like, trying to look, the seams are flush with right, the was, actual ball. You get no spin with those, right? Trying to throw a slider, I'm like trying to get underneath it. That's probably why I tore my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's tough. I mean, look, major league baseball betting is is especially early in the year is is a roller coaster ride. But can you guys catch the Braves this year? Do you think you're players for the division, or is it wild card or bust? Look, I think with the Phils, they're they're built to compete no matter what. I think it's like on paper the Braves should be. I mean, maybe the Dodgers now, but. They are unbelievable. Um, but I, I really – I think the Phil's weather, again, I'm fine with us going from the wild card or whatever it might be. Just got to make the playoffs. I think that's the type of team the Phil's are. You can get caught up in the regular season. Reality doesn't matter. But I think the Phil's are – again, it's not that much different of a team than last year, but those small things are shirt up to make sure that Craig Kimbrell doesn't ruin my life and all the rest of the Phil's <laughs> team's life uh, back-to-back games in the AL- in LCS. Yeah. So. Regular season, he's tremendous. Get to the playoffs, and oh my god! Okay, you say he's tremendous if you're looking at stats or if you're like you know whatever. If you're watching every night, you're like that freaking guy makes oh, me. I'm a Red Sox fan. He was on my team. I know these things. Yes, but, I know. I know old, the was Craig Kimbrell is Craig an absolute Kimbrell. roller coaster ride. Whenever oh. he's in the game, nothing is simple. At the end of the year, he'll have 30 saves. He'll yeah. go to the playoffs and he'll blow two saves in the playoffs. Here's the difference, though. This year, it was with the pitch clock. So an angry, sped you know, up, arrogant Craig Kimbrell <laughs> in general added to them him having to rush. He would just like talk to the umpires from before he even threw a, a pitch, and then if they rushed him at all, he'd yep. get pissed, and then he'd start getting erratic, and then he let up an absolute nuke 475 feet down the middle. So <laughs> that was my Craig Kimbrell experience. I'm sure you know everybody else, but. This is the Philadelphia sports portion of the show, boys. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. No, no, no. This is no, fine. Good. No, this good. is good. This is what Venting. I, I wanted Six, to ask Sixers you about. stink. Flyers stink. Hey, you gotta get the, you hold, gotta on, get something hold on. Hold on. This I want to ask James this question. It's I, the truth. We had uh, we had Joel Embiid yesterday on Cash Considerations. It was oh, unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, if you guys yeah. haven't heard it, go listen to it. <laughs> um, but have you heard he's coming back? Have you heard? Did you see the meme of him chewing on the apple? James, are you excited for the Sixers before we get to the rhythm stuff and the college hoops and the things and stuff? I just want to transition to basketball. Sixers at Cleveland tonight. Oh. Um, say, I mean, a gigantic bro. number. James, he's back. Joel's Look, I'm back. telling you, what? I've said this to Matt. I was like, Matt, I know you're getting all excited about your Celtics, you know, uh-huh. talking crap to me about the Sixers. But uh-huh. saying, the MVP's coming back. He's oh! not the MVP on paper, but he's the MVP because we suck without him. And that's an MVP to me. So why have, would you why do you want him back? Because how do you want right? what am I gonna do? Go in another entire offseason and be like, man, I wonder what we can do with a healthy Embiid. I can't he's do that anymore. So many games. It's like it's like he's gonna come back, he's gonna risk injury even more. I, it doesn't make any sense to me. Look, I, right. I I laughed at Kelly Oubre going over to all the three referees the other night yeah. and going like, you're a B, you're a B, you're a B. That was funny. I was laughing my ass off at that. I was like, all right, at least somebody cares. That's impressive. Right. At least Kelly Oubre shows he has some connection to the game. That's good. But you have a good coach. Why not next year? Why not just get it back for next year and run it back without hurting the guy again? I'm not saying this directly to you. I just think that's a losing attitude. Like, Fine. like, and unfortunately, we've right. had that for so long. Philadelphia. Like, They're like, oh, hey, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I, I am in basketball. So, that's what it is. It's, a, oh, it's, it's just, it's, it's the truth. <laughs> I can't deny it. I just think that we've had that mentality for so long, and it gets us to the Eastern Conference semifinals. And I am so tired of getting my hopes up in Game Six or Game Seven back to back to back to back years mm. <laughs> and then just get you know so it's kind of like okay you know, can, can, can we transition to, to tonight for basketball not in the nba yeah. just talk about the college basketball for a second yep okay so you guys predicted uconn right to crush you laid the 11 you weren't afraid the the algorithm came back and said hey rhythm lay the 11 came through yep. we also you have predicted my team to win tonight 
to cover at least, not to win, but to cover tonight the plus three. The Jays? Uh, yeah, Tennessee money line, Creighton to cover. And the oh. over. And the over. And me. the over in the game as well. Over. How confident are you in the numbers? I here? had the Tennessee hat ready in case the rhythm. There you go. Look at that. Wait, let me let me choose. Let me, let me see what my models say. I feel like yesterday, uh, Josh and I did a live stream and I wasn't. I don't think I had anything I loved. Yeah, I don't have anything for the money line that I love. Okay. Um, I really, for me, I think the only thing that I predicted was uh, the over in this game. Okay. So, because of you, I want the Blue Jays to win. <laughs> I want the Jays to win. I want them to. And also, my boy David Schneider, uh, Dave from the Jays. That's my that's my buddy from high school. He's nice. Awesome. He's electric. Uh, so I'm a big Jays guy because of him. Okay. Um, Fantastic. But uh, so you got nothing else for for Purdue Gonzaga. Uh, no, they okay. like no, NC so State. That's just for Creighton. I have the over, so that's what I'm feeling yeah. there. Um, and somebody asked, "What do we have last night?" We pretty we had Illinois money line. That was the dog of the day, so we gave that out, which was awesome. So um, the dogs yeah. have really been hitting this, uh, this so oh. far this March Madness. But you like Marquette and UConn. You like Marquette to win and cover tonight. Yeah, Marquette. That's what win. your that's what your bracket says. Or your um your models say. So I actually that's have a, NC State. That's a, that's a, yeah, your model says. Oh uh, no, that's uh, that's one of our. That's one of our partners. Ah, uh, okay. So that's his model. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's yeah. His model is that. So that. Depending, yeah, depending on your models. And again, that's where you kind of understand how your model, what teams, what play styles. Again, all of yeah. that is how you become better, better. But for me, I have NC State plus 235. We had NC State the last two rounds as well. Yep. Um, dog. So this is, again, I feel confident that Rhythm clearly has something with this team. This is the third time I'm going to have this. So uh, I'm rolling NC State plus 235. Ooh. And then I also oh, have the wow. under one. How about that? Half, How about that? You like NC State outright. Huh? I mean, look, it hasn't so, failed me yet. Why would I, why would I change no. it? If the model is so, okay, so, right? Dave talked to me into something or tried to get me to do something yesterday that I choked on it. So he's like, hey, you need to bet Illinois to win the bracket, win the East. Just because to go to the Final Four. Just to go to the Final Four because it was six to one. Yeah. So I was like, all right. Let me see. Let me see. I don't think anyone's beating UConn. So I didn't pull the trigger on it because I'm like, it doesn't matter. It's too big of a hedge. UConn's going to be a huge favorite. I did do it, though, for NC State. NC State to win the South would be, it's 14 to 1 to do this. Wow. So if they win tonight, and you're right, I got a 14 to 1 ticket going into a game against either Houston or against Duke in the next round. Do you guys like NC State to win the, to win the bracket to get to the Final Four? I think, I mean, they're the best story. I mean, I guess maybe oh, I don't yeah. know, but I mean, I think it's they're by far. I mean, just how they got here, it's everybody wants them to win. DJ Burns is an absolute electric factory. So um, I think if they look, if they win tonight, I think they can ride this out. I think, I, I think March Madness is so, it's such an emotional thing. If you can ride the roller coaster and you can take it all the way, you can, you know, make crazy things happen. So, I really Wouldn't it be think, funny if, uh, if, if the ACC, if it's Clemson and NC State and not Duke and Carolina, that like, oh, oh my God, the Twitter power, would be a war zone. The oh. Power is not Duke, Carolina for the ACC, but the power is Clemson getting to the Final Four and NC State yeah. getting to the Final Four. UNC fans would be like, Drake May is going to be the first overall pick, though, uh, for as long oh. as I can. So they try to put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> What's the plan for the weekend? What are you What, what are you doing this weekend? You driving to mom and dad's? What are you doing? I am. I've um, got a busy night tonight. I'm, I'm such an dumb 30 now, so I'm just going to see my friend's babies tonight. Uh, so I'm really, Aww. really an adult. So doing that and then getting going out a little bit. Uh, and then tomorrow, hopefully chill. And then Sunday, just go back to Jersey and uh, hopefully just watch some, some baseball, basketball, and, and chill with the family. So how about you guys? All right. Let, well, let's talk about the weekend for the NBA and talk about what rhythm can do here. Because Dave and I both coined this as like the silly season, right? So you've got five games tonight in the West that all have major playoff implications. And really from here on out, those five teams trying to figure out whether they're going to be in the playing game or not, the playing tournament or not, or out of the playoffs entirely. Rock is trying to get in, trying to bounce out the Warriors. This is where the model comes in, right? Where it's not going to be swayed by the, you know, storylines or by the narratives, just the numbers themselves will tell you what to play, right? Absolutely. And that's for player props and the game picks too. So it takes, I mean, all of that into effect. It's really more about the historical data than it is about the current bias. And again, always factor in what's going on. I think that's the most important thing with data. And that's what I like to use about rhythm. It's like, you know, what's going on in the league, you know, what's going on. Like you just said with the Warriors and Rockets. 
take that into consideration with the prediction, but the model is doing all the hard work for you of finding out where those opportunities lie. Like again, play styles. Again, if it's Jalen Green does this against certain types of defenses, that's being taken into consideration. So it tries to, again, taking all of that grunt work out for you to just be able to say, this is Rhythm's prediction. This makes sense to me. This is what I would have thought otherwise and pairing the instincts with the data. A couple really good games tonight. Clippers at Orlando. Um, I don't know. The Philadelphia Cleveland ha ha has has me interested. Phoenix at OKC. Phoenix favored at OKC. And Dallas Sacramento is, I mean, the late night special. In between, you get Minnesota yeah. in Denver, which could be Western Conference final matchup. This is where you, I think the model – like yeah. you just said, it removes all bias. It removes what our eyes see. It removes what our ears hear. It removes stuff like us clowns might say. And it's, <laughs> yeah, like it's a good thing. Or, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like the way I usually look at it is when I go look at the NBA slate, I, I have three models. I look to see where all those models agree. And like for me, I went through this in two seconds while you said that. For me, the best bet that I found just in two seconds of looking is Hornets minus 13. Hornets plus 13. Ooh. All my models agree that that's a good bet. And wow. that's okay. where I'm like, okay, it's Hornets plus 13. That's a lot of points against the Warriors. The Warriors are who the hell knows this year. Um, so that's my best spread bet. Let me see if I got any other good ones for you guys while I'm clicking through these. See, and like that's it. something that I think is great because that is a game that most people cross over, jump right. by. Um, put a line through like why in the hell would anybody say the horn is plus 13 is a good bet other than they just like to punish themselves but well, that's probably a good bet yeah it's uh exactly and like the other one i have the another like going to total points um two and a nine two oh nine and a half over two and nine and a half in uh blazers heat and again nobody cares about the blazers right now although i do love anthony simons i think he's a freaking stud and i've thought that for years and i'm so mad that we didn't trade ben simmons to the mm. uh, blazers about that but i digress um and then other games that i have that my models recommend and again my models have been great on total points so i, I usually that's usually what i'm betting uh it has let's see over 219 and a half in that warriors hornets game as well mm. um i've said this before i never bet on the nets but if somebody else doesn't have that rule then nets hold over the team um the nets are one of your teams that you just yeah. they're on the list it's nets uh uva um obviously i just unless it's the, for the cowboys to get their asses kicked or something i'm not betting on the cowboys um <laughs> cowboys never Cow yeah. cowboys never yeah i love football guy 97 that's a great point uh yeah, the Jimmy Butler thing, that's a whole nother – I can't go down into that one. There's not enough time in the day. <laughs> <laughs> you go down that rabbit hole. Any player uh, props tonight that you're you're eyeballing? Anything that yeah. you like uh, on the player prop side? Yeah, and this is something that, again, I think I've talked about it a few times, and now that we have graphs in the app for player props, like, it just makes it so much easier. Um, it's pretty amazing. Like for Scoot Henderson, I have Scoot Henderson under 19.5 points. Over the last 10 games, he's hit the under 80% of the time. He's so been a bust, huh? He's been a bust. He, he really has. has. He has such a cool name. You know, you just gotta, yeah. you gotta yeah. hope he figures it out with a name that cool. Otherwise, I mean, he was so good here in Vegas. It was, there was so much hype around him being a number two pick in the draft. And yeah. now the G League is getting they're killing the ignite. I mean, it's just it feels like everything that Scoot's touched so far, it's been to, yeah, yeah, yeah killing everything. But but yeah, so again, for me, I used that's the recommendation was the under there. And then again, I looked at the graph and it's 80% on the under uh for the last 10 games. Uh, Nick Richards over eight and a half points last 10 games. He's 70% on the over. So uh, exactly like over eight and a half. And then the last uh, pick is Bradley Beal under 16 and a half. And this is one of those, this is why I love like seeing the data this way. Mm. I, I just assumed I'm not watching Suns games frequently. Sorry. Right. Uh, right. <laughs> but I would have thought Bradley Beal would be Bradley Beal. The under it's under 16 and a half is the bet tonight over his last five games. He's been 100% under that. Wow. And the highest he scored is 13. 3, 12, 13, 9, 10 over his mm. last five games. And that's Bradley Beal. I mean, that was a huge deal that he got traded this year. So it's one of those things where, as a better, like, I'm like, okay, that's for me. If he hasn't hit over 16 and a half in that long, I'm going to keep hoping that that train rolls on with the prediction. But also as a fan, I'm like, what the hell's happening in Phoenix? I right. I don't know if anybody in the chat knows, but. Right. Right. So let's answer Chris's question, okay? He said, I need to learn how to use the rhythm app. So if Chris has that question for you, James, 
Yep. How how would one go learn how to use the app? Yeah. Well, first off, you got to download it. So you can okay. go find it in, you know, I'll probably put in the chat. It's probably the okay. easiest way. So um, obviously download it. I'd recommend using the core and starting a free trial of core. Um, that'll be able to help you kind of, uh, it will let me post the uh, the link. That's fine. Cool. Um, Just write it out and the people can, can copy yeah. and paste it. Yeah, Chris, basically, again, you go in, you press add a rhythm AI model, you get recommended bets, and then you go and see where you have green stars next to those bets. Those are the recommended ones. If you agree with those predictions, then feel comfortable taking that bet. If you're doing player props, again, use use those predictions plus the data that's there for you. And again, those that's the best way to to get the most out of rhythms models. We're trying to make it as easy as possible for you to use this type of data um, to be able to be, uh, you know, again, a smarter, better. So. And that's the best part is that you can kind of, it's up to the person to push the button to make the yeah. bet. It's not like Amen. we're telling you, these are the tools, you use them, figure out how you like to use them, and then decide to bet them or not. That that that's yeah. It's not a hardcore push to these bets always win. This is just yep. going to give you a very good chance of winning. Speaking yep. of having a very good chance of winning, it's 1-1 in the fifth. The Brewers are going to score a run right here. So, guys, if you're in game, you need a you need a Brewers bet. Probably bet them right now. Yelich is on deck. Anytime, They're going to score a run. I don't. Anytime, we'll, anytime the Mets lose, I'm happy. So keep keep feeding that right? information. I think we can all agree <laughs> that anytime the New York teams lose, we're pretty happy about. It. Whether I think we're all on the, the all on the same all, we're all, all in the agreement. Philadelphia, agreement. Yeah, yeah. Pitch and the last lost. the last thing I'll say. I, about how to use the models just to make this is the way I say it the simplest form. Imagine you're at like a Buffalo Wild Wings, you're at a bar, you're what there's 20 TVs on, all these different games. All you got to say is, well, what does rhythm say about these games? And you can have immediately a data back play for any of the games on TV. So whether it's player props for NBA, college basketball, again, we're going to be adding golf in, in two weeks, which is going to be huge for the Masters. But nice. if you're not sure what to bet on, you're not a fan of whatever team's on, but you still want to be able to have some action, go ahead and, and use rhythm. So. I think football guy, I think you're right. I think James, you're gonna get a stinger intro. I I, I think we do oh, need yeah. we 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 do need a James Stinger oh, intro. Oh yeah. That's James, true. Oh, wow. pick your walk up song. Oh no, oh. Janet Jackson, Rhythm Nation. We got that covered, baby. We already oh. got that. We got the I'm music right on there. My walkout song in college was March Madness by Future. So very apt for the timing right now. So oh look at that. <laughs> very good. Oh, very right. good. James, thank you. Just to recap, we're going with Creighton plus the points or the over, right? That's a better play, right? Yep. NC State money line. Yep. Dog. Phillies. Ooh. Phillies money line. Phillies money line and the under seven and a half. And the under seven and a half for plays for Man, today that's rhythm, here. That's a rhythm. Nothing field. on Purdue Gonzaga. Uh, Nothing on that. Purdue Gonzaga, I believe. Let's see. Uh, that'd be under, under 154 and a half. Interesting. Interesting. And then the three player props I gave out and Scoot yeah. Henderson under. Nick Richards over points, uh, and then Bradley Beal under points. And all, I'm very confident on those based on this data. So Phenomenal. Great stuff, my friend. Thank you for joining us. We'll talk next yeah. week, all right? Happy Easter. Have a good weekend. You too. James Centaur sure. from Rhythm. Happy Easter. You too, sir, here on the Bostonian versus the book. Always great to get him on the program. Hold on. Let me get everything together here, and we can Sometimes switch. it's like a magic trick. What is it? Sometimes you just nail it. Sometimes you get it right. The Brewers now lead two to one. Oh, Try to just jump in there and tell everybody to get it there and get that bet in. Well, you could. Brewers now lead 2-1 against the Mets. There we go. Fly. Uh, guys, we got a lot of things to get to. If you want a Super Chat asked, uh, answered during the live chat, it's on the YouTube oh. live chat. Just go ahead and click it, and you guys can leave a Super Chat, and we'll get to that game. There's a bunch of games coming up here for today. Uh, we've talked a little bit about the Brewers and the Mets already, so let's talk about the game we just left off there with Strider against Wheeler. Yep. Total is 7 we comfortable laying it under with that Braves lineup? Mm. Mm. Right? Although one of my like horses that in Major League Baseball, I love Zach Wheeler. I love Zach Wheeler. It's hard not Especially to. at home. A, Even on the guy. road. It don't matter. I think you get a quality start out of him. Obviously, I think I'm more worried about Strider not getting through the order three times. Game going over. They oh. hit him pretty good in the playoffs last year. Okay. In yeah, Philly, I, I'd be I'd be inclined to say over. I I'm not me and totals in baseball. We're gonna take a little break. I'm not gonna bet those for a while. We're gonna let those settle. <laughs> Did that yesterday? I had my fill. 
you get right. You got to cautiously, like everybody gets excited for opening day. Well, no, I mean, I just went ahead and, and assumed early in the year we would see Stitch. It's one day, the, you can't well, make was, a sample size. I was right about the Rockies. One day. I just didn't think Kyle Freeland was going to come in and give up ten runs. All earned. He said it on the show. I said, "What if the Diamondbacks <laughs> get the over themselves?" They did, and they hit over themselves. He scored sixteen good. runs. He didn't look good. Oh no! But the, the the Rockies' offense looked exactly like I thought. So, I mean, literally, here's my recommendation for the rest of the weekend: fade the Rockies. Run line, run line, run line. The rest of the weekend, <laughs> like they're not going to. Whoa! Froze with a profile right there. Look. Run. Hold on, you're frozen. Snap it. He's back. Okay. Run, run, run line, run line, run line. D backs. Diamondbacks? Against, Diamondbacks, yes. Until the books catch up. It's going to be this way, okay? Josie Myers, forget about the Sharks. They're dead. You want a new assignment? Here's a new assignment. Run line, Rockies. Keep track. Josie Myers? Speaking Keep track of Josie of, Myers? Keep track of the run line Josie on Myers. the Rockies because I'm guessing the prices are going to be outrageous. In April. See, on the road. On no, the just road. in general. They are not going to score at home. They're not going to score. On the road, they're not going to score. They have the worst offense in this baseball. Is, this is why you can't be in the room. You're very emotional. I'm not emotional. I'm telling the truth. I, I bet under 60 and a half wins on the Rockies for a reason. They're going to be the worst team in baseball. 59 Rockies are and awful. a half was their number. 60 and a half. Bet it under. If it's still up, you should. 60 and a half. Worst team in the National League. We're seeing baseball. 50 wins was the high, the, the worst team last year in baseball. The A's won 50. That's what we're looking at here for the Rockies. That level of being pathetic. We faded the A's in the run line that whole month of June, July. Get in front of it. Do it now. Bet them now because they're going to catch up. I don't want to give Joe C another job. I mean, Joe C is now first class sergeant, but of Joe course. C did an unbelievable job with the fade the sharks puck line mission. I think we're going to have to really keep an eye on this Rockies in April. Um, I was with Jules last night. He was telling me about uh, Buchanan. Julian Edlow, yes. Yeah, Jules, Julian Edlow. Um, there's Emerson's your shout-out, Jules. By the way, Emerson's in the chat right now. Emerson's in the chat? Yeah, he's texting us, too. He's texting us, too? Yeah. <laughs> Jules, Emerson. Oh, don't confuse Jules and Emerson. Uh-oh, that's No, 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 no. I was going to say, Emerson. <laughs> Samantha Steele. Jules and I were talking about you yesterday. Oh. One, you know, hope everything is going okay with mom and dad, and you're Man. doing whatever you have to do to take care of that. Definitely. Two, I want Saks underwear. I mean, you reached out. These people are going to send you underwear. I, I, You know how I feel about the Saks underwear. I, I, I love the Saks underwear. <laughs> Three, we talked about coming out trying to come back to boston p-roll's going to chicago first yeah we may have uh we may have some a place to do the show if you know what i'm saying a bar or a book a studio a studio <laughs> i said hey we got a studio a we, studio you know anybody that has a studio in boston where they do shows can we pop in there and Bang out a BBB for the people. Ha <laughs> ha. Be something else. I'll go for a week. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like let's let's go. I'm just saying. I'm just <laughs> saying. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. All right. That, that yeah. would be that would be that would not that? be something I would say no to. How about that? <laughs> I would not say no to that. <laughs> if we're going to do that, I would not say Woo! no. That's something I would look yeah. to do. And it's not like we don't know guys. Like we could have we could have DK guys on. We could have you know we could, Emerson is a DK guy. Jules very busy today, but uh, I tried to get Jules to come on today. Yeah. He couldn't do it. Swing it this time. Um, go get Anik. Come on, it'll be fine. See if we can, we can go get Merloni. See if we can get Lou to come on do the show with us. Lou. Yeah. Get get mad mad raging Lou on if we can pull that off. Do the show from my living room. Where is he going <laughs> to put the dogs? <laughs> I mean, I will come through the show at the living room. Where's he going to put the dogs? <laughs> He's got a good connection. I, well, yeah, he does. He's been done the show enough. You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's to see how we're going to go. By the way, are you doing this show next Friday? Or are you going to take the day off? Are we doing roll call Thursday next week? Uh, as of right now, we're going to do roll call Thursday. Okay. Works. I was going to see if uh, if he wanted to produce the show uh, next right. Friday and bring, and bring you in remotely. Oh, 
No, Meeting. our Eric. Our Eric. Oh, Emerson. Eric. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. He could do it. If, oh. Because I, I, I have some thoughts. Of, I mean, you live from Wrigley Field would be a phenomenal drop-in. <sighs> would be a phenomenal drop-in on the phone. It kind of would be. It be a fun, would be. I mean, like, we. I feel like we have to do the show. I just need someone to make sure that the feed stays up. I already have it planned out. But if we can't do it, we'll do Roll Call Thursday next week. We're doing Roll Call Friday here in about one hour. About ah, 45 minutes, maybe. We're going to yeah. start asking for the three-digit area codes. Stick People around. People are shuffled in right now. Yeah. We need the city where you're at right now, just the city name and your age. Mm. Because, again, with these conversations with these people, they keep saying, you guys are a bunch of Midwest old guys. That's it. They keep saying. <laughs> That's not me saying it. That's people saying it. My cat will pick the lock no matter where the show is. Whoa. <laughs> the Daily Juice reference. My cat broke in the middle of the Daily Juice a couple of weeks ago, and it was literally screaming, like loudly screaming in the room. And I, I couldn't do anything. Between that cat and that dog. <laughs> Two dogs. Yeah, but I mean, the little one's vicious. The little one's vicious. The little, yeah. <laughs> vicious. <laughs> the little Cujo nice. dog yeah. is Ninja. vicious. Like, I want to, <laughs> that dog, I mean, I, dogs like me and I like dogs, but that dog don't like nobody. Nope. He is, no. he has no front teeth. He's massively abused. So I feel bad for the thing. He has no front teeth. He has front teeth kicked he's, in. He's still fighting that oh, battle he's every ghost. day. He's still fighting the ghosts every day. Yes. Every you know, damn he doesn't day. Like, he doesn't like people. He's very, very scared of people. Man. Any, anyone he doesn't like, and they bark nonstop. But yes, it's it's a it's a whole romper room over here for sure. 46 in Tipton, Missouri. What's up, Ryan? How are you? 46 years old. So I said 46 and in Tipton, Missouri. Oh, 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 oh. I thought that was the temperature. Not temperature. No, the temperature no. comes later for the roll no. call. No, no, no. Yeah, there's 46 or 65. Holy crap. John is 72. Yeah, he. I think that's the oldest we've got, right? He's he's our senior member. I don't know. It's phenomenal. You know who we have to wish a, a happy birthday to? Who? Roger Long. Oh, very nice. You're an Aries. Raj, Raj, 65. I start my last week of being 46 this week. Hmm. Oh, there we go, Blue Spader. He got him beat. Blue Spader. He got him beat. There's, oh, there's man, our great too. Our high, our high water mark. Yes, sir. <laughs> we got highs, we got lows. <laughs> This is true. Eyes forward. Yes, this is true. <laughs> for Remember more that? than one, for more than one reason. But yes, eyes yes, forward. eyes forward. Yes. Yeah. Jy had them. <laughs> <laughs> he had the swivel eyes. He got caught. Yeah. Jy got caught. <laughs> he yeah. got caught looking around. So well, over to is the our high number is seventy seven. I think Covey might be in here right now. For our low, I see Santana's twenty five. Oh, 28. There we go. And by the way, Aries PB, you're absolutely right. Aries. I just, I get along with people who are Aries. I don't know why. I always have people who you are do. similarly in the insane version of my brain. Man, my daughter, somebody just sprayed that perfume. Again? Oh my God. What are they doing? Why? So is like their bathroom like adjacent it's to your It's right room? down the hall. So it comes down the hall? Uh, you could smell it. Uh, it like she, she must, somebody must have just ran down the, the hallway. I don't know what just happened. I don't know. What Nico's 23, by the way. He's our low right there. Who's 23? Martin Sevich from Croatia. Wow. Martin Sevich is Vinko is our furthest away and our youngest. Yeah, that's great. Aries gang. I'm with you, Zach. Yes. Aries represent all of us. Yes. I'm the most prototypical, typical Aries. Look at all of our Aries. I love this. Let's go, boys. We're all, I'm such a prototypical Aries. It's amazing. I don't believe in a whole a whole lot about the astrology stuff, but like with when it comes to me and Aries, it's really accurate. It's scary accurate. Let's there's talk about actual, last night. There's an actual Twitter account for Leo. Yes, I feel like it talks to me. Yep. See, and you're like, wait a minute. I'm yep. like, how'd you my know daughter's that? my daughter's a Leo, so that's what she is yeah. too. So yeah. yeah uh -huh. Like how 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 how'd you know that? Like you, that's exactly what I do. That's exactly how I'm thinking right now. Like, why would you say that? Spooky, yeah. scary, spooky stuff. I totally yeah. agree. All right, what happened last night? Number one seed UNC, number two seed Arizona, number two seed Iowa State. All sent home from the NCAA tournament. It was a revenge of the sports books. Dogs win outright after all the crying, all what? the whining by the books. They came and just cleared off the entire table yesterday, last night. Put on the other camo hat that makes it a little bit hard to see because. People are looking for the bookies right now. Bookies, everybody won. The bookies all won. 
No matter mm -hmm. what book you had, you won yesterday. Didn't matter where you were. Even the books in Champaign, Illinois won yesterday because number one seed went down. Even the books in Alabama, they didn't all bet Bama. Not all of them. Mm -mm. Took them down. Whose loss um, was most surprising to you of the three? I bet Clemson. Okay. So that was the least surprising. Um, Bama being down the way they were, watching that game live with a million people down at Circa, what all be everybody had North Carolina. Their ability to come back and win that thing, that's the most surprising to me. Listen, a lot of people had Illinois. There was a lot of models like James that were on Illinois. Um, Iowa State will kick themselves for the rest of the summer, spring, summer, for the first 10 minutes of the game. If Iowa State didn't come out nervous and completely sped up, they would have won that game. If that game was probably 10 minutes longer than it was. Iowa State wins that game. They just couldn't stop I mean, Illinois missing a thousand free throws was gigantic, but Iowa State missed so many layups in that game. It was unbelievable to they watch. They missed a lot. They missed a lot of shots. Easy that, shots. I, okay, I don't want to say easy. Easy shots. Easy, but shots they, to, layups. Stuff that you have to hit. Stuff you can't miss when you're trying to win a tight game. I mean, I was I, I hit the under in the game, so that was fine. So like, I lost a, a, a one unit future on Iowa State, and I won the under. So it was a that game was a wash for me, but. You know, watching North Carolina, I picked up my brackets dead because I picked them to win the national championship. But right. you, you watch Clemson and you watch Poise and you watch the way that they were able to take care of the basketball in their game. And you're like going, OK, this is going to be really interesting to see how Alabama responds now that they got all this love. Because they were pimping themselves pretty hard after that game. They were all they they thought they were all BOC. They were running around like crazy. And after the game, you saw Nate out saying, I don't like Alabama's team, by the way, if you haven't noticed, but they, I, don't, I don't like them at all, but they were like, now we've done something like now we can talk because now we've done something. I'm like, Ooh, really? Like you've won. You, okay. You knocked on a one seed, but like kind of win another game. Like get to the They're final favor. Four. They They're are favor. Why? That's a, here's my question. Why? What do you mean? They shouldn't be favored. So first of all, Guys in the chat, everybody's coming in because they know the Roll Call Friday is coming. In about right. 40 minutes or so, we'll start the Roll Call Friday. I want everybody to wish PSU Sheppy. That's a crazy stat. Hello. Hi. PSU Sheppy's going through it right now, boys. Needs support. Okay. Needs all of you okay. to say hello. Um, Brucey, you know I love you, and we're, we're thinking of you. I, I, okay. That's all. I just want to get that out right now. I just saw him pop in. Oh, he said, nice. I need the live show today. Boys, okay. I, I need the live show. So same, same yeah. good. the books uh looks like the face is thinner a little bit. The walking program is working. Me and that good. weighted vest and stuff were, were very important. works. P roll, yeah. P roll got me got me working every day, thinking about that. Um, I'm sitting at the book yesterday saying hello. Saw Cody Decker, saw Jim Root uh from Three Men Weave, mm -hmm. and we're sitting there, we're watching the game. And I go up and I go, Alabama's going to win this game, boys. I said, what's the line against Clemson? And I met the other two for the first time. They do a great job with their mm, podcast. They do. Super junkies. Like, I mean, like oh, they yeah. are deep, deep, deep. Oh, yeah. Like different level stuff. That's all they do. He says four. I said, nah. I said, two and a half. What do you mean? I said, Bama, two and a half. And it wasn't up yet. We were watching the end of the other game, more excited to see what the book popped up at Circa. Mm -hmm. And Root goes, well, this is more fun than watching a game. Well, guess in the line what it's going to be. Because we each made a case. And I'm like, four's too much. I know the first bet I'm taking is plus four. I don't need to go plus four. I said, I need two and a half, just under a three. And we're debating it back and forth. They pop it up two and a half. And he goes, it's not like you haven't done this before, huh? And I started mm -hmm. laughing. I said, yeah, a little bit. I, I'm i surprised. surprised. I am. I'm surprised Why? Alabama's favored. Comes and beat them already this year. They played this, this year. Comes Which and beat them. then Root says, 
Clemson won at Alabama already this season. I said, what was the number? He said, seven. Seven and a half. In Bama. Yeah. Clemson won. That number's way too high. You can't use that number for this. People are going to go back and look. They've already played head-to-head. Clemson already won in Bama. I yeah, I think Brownell. I, I think Brownell is going to coach complete circles around Nate Oates. How good of a coach is that guy? It's a complete. It's a it's a coaching mismatch to me. I mean, I I actually thought it was a coaching mismatch against North Carolina, but I was wrong about that. Uh, I don't know what really was going on. The end of games situation for North Carolina was not great, and and I mean Alabama's defense stinks, and they got shut down by Bama's defense. I was like, what is going on? So it was a little surprising to see. They only had two scores. I mean, that was the one thing that Bama really did. They said, okay, let somebody else beat us besides the right. other two. Right. And they they didn't have it. I mean, they didn't have a third score to beat them. So that was basically what Nate Oates was going to say. Okay, someone else besides the two seniors are going to beat us. And they didn't. So they were able to win the game. But Clemson's bigs are nasty. They pass the basketball. They're smart. They got a kid who can shoot from the moon who was off yesterday. They still won the game. Even with him not scoring for them, I think Clemson wins the game outright. I think Clemson's going to the Final Four. So, all right, boys and girls, this is the, this is a little master's level class. This is a PhD level class. You understand why the line's two and a half now? Why? Because Alabama's. Am I really saying Clemson wins? Yes, I'm saying Clemson wins. Yes, I like Clemson. I like their bigs. I like their coaches. Like, yes, I like Clemson. So we make the line two and a half. Where do we take the first bet? What's the line right now? Two. <laughs> to go up? Yeah. Three and a half. Oh, so on Alabama's the first bet. Oh, boy. Okay. Don't matter what you think is going to happen. This it matters is, what you think is going to bet. I don't oh, know. no. I'm sorry. I was taking the chat's word for it. I just clicked my odd screen. It's still two and a half, boys. Okay, it didn't move. Okay, it has it. Well, there's a there's a three lurking. Okay, and I don't know where else you're looking, but it's two and a half right now. At uh, ten books across the world, so I'm looking at it right now. I I assumed it moved based on what I was reading in the chat. I can't always. I mean, at, at, at this point, there's no such thing as a public dog. Sorry, at this point in the tournament, when you get to the elite eight, there's no such thing. You're going to have major money on both sides in every game. Doesn't matter. Yeah, there's no such thing as a public dog at this point. It's you can say you may, you may see the content space people drop jumping on 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 Clemson. The but, content space doesn't book the bets. Right. So I I, I don't believe in any of that, especially the, here. I don't believe it's like we talked about with with the Super Bowl. It doesn't matter. Like public side, pro side, sharp side, square side. It's all out the window. It doesn't really matter. Just bet what you think is going to happen. Like if if you if you go ahead and, and, and you like. I, I, Alabama lay it with Alabama like Clemson take Clemson. I, I mean, look, I think they both are massively overachieving as to, as to where they are. They both were not expected to be here. And Alabama had stretches during the year where they looked very good. Clemson had stretches during the year where they looked extremely good. So they're both hot. They're both playing. Well, I tend to lean towards the team that plays better defense and Alabama's team still until they show me they can do it consistently, doesn't play defense. So, you know, that's just, I Clemson, to me, Clemson is, I'm surprised. I thought Clemson was going to be favored because if I was making a line, I'd say Clemson minus two. That's what I'd say. So, personally. Let well, everybody come in and bet on Bama. guarantee we get a bet on Bama, which, again, I don't need to know who's going to win. I just need to know where they're going to bet. I explained this to Root yesterday. I need yeah. to know the dog number. The dog number is three. This is perfect. Anytime I get loaded on this game in the next 24 hours, I just go to three and bam, somebody bets it. Bad guy sends it. Right. Somebody pops in the book. Great. Right. The other game, I, look, I know UConn's killing people. Eight and a half. We got to get somebody to come in and say. It was six. It was up to eight. It jumped instantly. They opened at six. It was bang, 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 bang. All UConn bets. Right up to Who eight Who opened at six? On the, on my I, there was no sixes. I was at Circa yesterday when they opened it. This was another debate with Root. We were watching the end of the Illinois game, and I was sitting with some other guys who do some things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're, they're, they're in town for the weekend. I met some new – these aren't ex-presidents. These are, these are people that got money. 
Okay. And um, we were debating about this line. And they're actually one got Boston ties. He sounded like oh, it was. I swear to you, it, they're saying eight and a half. I swear to you, there was a six last night. Yeah, there was no sixes. I, I, I saw it. I saw it in the odds screen last night. It when it opened first popped. I saw. I it. I just went through four books line history. I don't see it. it may, I'm not saying it didn't happen, but I was there. I don't circa. trust their line. I don't trust those. I, I've seen it numerous times with the NBA. I don't trust those numbers that they well, tell know, you what the, what the open was. So it was eight and a half at Circa was the opener. Eight and a okay. half at Westgate was the opener. We debated this. This is too at high. This table. It's not too high. <sighs> Who's betting against UConn? Can't do it. People aren't doing it. I need to figure out what the dog number is that somebody with a bag money play, the limit play is going to say, give me against UConn. I'm not saying it can't win. I'm just saying I need to know the number. If I Damn. give you 10, I may, 10? Eight, I may take it to eight and a half. Okay. <laughs> I mean, eight and a half, I may take it. Illinois could score. I mean, if Terrence Shannon does what he just typically does, which is 25 points. I, I, I mean, <laughs> the guy didn't shoot free throws well at all last night. He's a good free throw shooter. The whole Illinois team didn't shoot free throw well last night, and they still won the game. Like, that was their mulligan game. That was the game they're supposed to lose, and they won that game. I I, I can't wait to watch this game. I'm, I'm super interested. I think you, I didn't bet that future, the 6-1, to one, because I don't think UConn can lose. I don't think they're losing this game. It doesn't matter how many points. How many points are they winning by? Eight and a half seems high. I sat again with a couple people yesterday who said that UConn, if they were playing anyone else yesterday, mm -hmm. they might have been losing that game at the first half. They played so bad in the They're first awful. half for them. Agreed. I would agree. Yeah. I mean, they gave up. Was there really a two for 17 stretch for UConn in that first half? They shot two of 17 from the I field. believe. I mean, I don't know the stats. They stat, were winning by nine at the half. How yeah. bad was San Diego State? Horrible. I mean, and they gave up 20 points in the first 10 minutes to San Diego State. I was stunned. The under 62 and a half still came in, but I was stunned how easily San Diego State scored in the first 10 minutes. I was like, what the hell is going on? I was like, my bet's dead. If they keep this up, they're going to score 75 points easy. And right. then they and then they clamped and it, and then once they threw the clamps on them that was it they scored thirty points thirty five points the rest of the way next thirty minutes they scored about thirty five points San Diego State couldn't score say their life in the second half open shot brick city before the game UConn was two to one to win the whole tournament after the game even money. Mm. To win the whole tournament. I mean, look, they're three wins away. I mean, they're <laughs> three, three wins game, away. Parlay, they're minus eight and a half. Their next opponent is either Alabama or Clemson. And then they'll play either Houston, Purdue, Creighton, Tennessee, Marquette, Duke, which are going to be probably this big of a favorite against all of them, except maybe Houston. Maybe Houston's five. I think it's a low, the lowest number that they're against anybody is against Purdue. If Purdue wins the next two games. Okay. Metrics say Houston's more has better metrics than Purdue does. Probably, but I think the Purdue perception will be at its peak. And I, I can't say that that assessment right there is wrong. Joe the Fat Panda. Mm -hmm. Houston would win. Purdue would fold like a cheap tent. Um, but them having that middle presence, I think really, really, it, it's close. It's close. But those are the two, those are only two teams left that would yeah, they're not in have the a lower game, number than this. If they're not in the title game, I'll be stunned. Something UConn's funky. Not in the title yeah. Game? Something funky is going to happen for UConn not to be in the title game. Right. They're just, they're playing on a, insanely high level at the moment. And if Mike Greenberg says one more time that they'll beat an NBA team, I'm going to throw up. Please stop saying this. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Wait, really say what? that again? Mike Greenberg and ESPN said that UConn could contend with an NBA team. <laughs> it's, just dumbest, it's just the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, it's just the stupidest. I was like, dude, Come this, on, bro. Dude, this is the same thing. Like when people used to say Alabama could go to the NFL, Alabama could beat the, the, the Carolina Panthers. 
No, they could not. Oh, yeah, what yeah, are we yeah. doing? Do you understand who's what, what these pro teams are made? What they're made up of? Like, stop it, please. It's men, literally men, against boys. Yeah, it's not even a. It's not even a as co- good conversation. as the boys are. Come on, it's ridiculous. It's it's like somebody started running through like the worst team in the NBA. I forget who they, but they ran through their their the entire resume of the roster. It was like five players of the year. It was six first round picks. It was like it was like they would destroy UConn. Like, what are you talking about? Right. UConn will never even be in the game. It's ridiculous on that. So, uh, okay, couple quick things for hockey this yep. weekend. Yep, the Jets over one and a half goals in the third period. Three were scored last night. Seventh straight game for them. They play tomorrow. Oilers, seventh straight game for them. Over one and a half goals in the third period. Three mm. goals got scored for them. So the yes, Sharks show up two and a half. Doesn't matter. They're still putting three goals in. And Dallas failed to go over one and a half in their second period. It's now seven and three over the last 10 games. <laughs> Do you pause? Is it slowing down? Eh, maybe. I mean, there's a lot of observations going on right now for the hockey. I had to have been the only schmuck watching the rangers and the avalanche and in that entire joint yesterday that's awesome i i kept it was in the screen right in front of me and you know they got the sound and the stuff on the big screens and i'm watching this this rangers and colorado game you want to talk about like an elite level hockey game it Mm. was so good i made the mistake of turning to jules at one point and going jules are you watching any of that hockey game? He goes, is it still preseason? I said, Julian, we're coming up on the, we're coming up on the playoffs. He's like, you know, I don't watch hockey. I'm like, you should. Lives in the Boston. Stanley Cup's coming up. Lives in Boston. I mean, you're in hockey. Boston. Like, you, you just. Watch hockey. My God. You don't watch hockey. He don't watch it. Brutal. But Dallas against Vancouver looked great. Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to think Dallas. You want to talk about Western Conference futures? I da, ha, Dallas Stars might be mm. time. Let's see. Texas hockey. Uh, you know, Gumpy's McCarthy, been on them for by year the way, after year after year. <laughs> yeah. And might be the year. Nerfy comes in for the Braves and the and the Phillies. By the way. So no score in the first Boom. inning there. We head to the second. Uh Top of the, it's two to one, top seven. Freddie Peralta's got eight Ks for the Brewers. He's been mowing down the Mets here today so a lot of pitchers with big strikeout counts on opening day out of the gate yeah he's gonna be and corbin burns at 10 yesterday oh he was dealing shout out to kevin uh our buddy down at the circa supervisor just said listen if we if we learn anything from linda's legacy go do what you got to do when you got to do it he Man. said i'm going as camden yards for opening day baltimore orioles are back it's March Madness. It's Sweet 16. I'm leaving. You got it. And he was right. So, um, boy, Cor- Corbin Burns looked great. The Orioles, Orioles are coming, boys. Games tonight. NC State, 11 seeded. Up against two seed Marquette. Marquette's laying seven. Totals 151. James from Rhythm came on. He likes the dog plus 250 to win this game outright with NC State. Agree? Let's ask the chat. They need something to vote on. Bunch of people just shuffled in from everywhere. Give them a poll. When you watch the show live, boys and girls, in the chat, on the YouTube specifically, you can watch it on the YouTube, on the Twitter as well, but make sure you get in the chat. You vote. P-Roll types up a, a, a gray box will pop up, and you can pick. Do six and uh, – what's uh, I, I did outright. Oh. I did outright. Who wins outright? Oh. Oh, so this is legit. People are going to think. I don't think anybody's going to vote NC State. Really? I think NC State's live. To win a game? 100%. No, nah, bro. I hope you're right. I have a Marquette future. Like, <laughs> Let's go Marquette. 100%. Because if Duke shocks the world and beats Houston, Marquette can beat Duke and Marquette's in the Final Four. I got a 20 to 1 ticket on Marquette and I'm in love. So can Marquette beat Whoa. Houston? Whoa. Kelsey's making fun of you saying that's her hat design. Uh oh. This is. The middle consig model, 100%. She's, saying, she's telling you to get the hat off. She's getting all, all touchy. I liked it so much. 
that I had one made for me. Huh. So then there you go. We each have one. Ha. She came on and stole the show last week when we were at Resorts World, told me, oh, I got a tattoo behind my ear. Daddy, thank you, Uncle Matt, for just bringing that one out. <laughs> I, I'm glad she's at least watching the show. Hi. You know. She's saying Kelsey, you're copying her. Don't come in my chat, Kels, and start some. Sh Sorry, Will. Don't start any shit, Kels. Man. She says she can't match you. She goes, no, I can't match you. <laughs> Damn right. Damn right, Kels. No, it means she doesn't want to. Not you. She, she, she says she's. No, 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 no. She can't match me. That's what she means. I'm her daddy. Literally, I'm her daddy. <laughs> well, forget that, Kels. No, she's saying. I'm your dad. dad. She's saying you're copying her. I did. I did. Listen, she's a cool kid. Yeah. Half the stuff that she says, I say on the show, I copy her all the time. Wow. That was actually pretty new. She said, I've had the tattoo for two months. I thought it was longer than that. I just found that out last relatively night. Relatively new. That was actually a relatively I just new. found that out last night. I said, <laughs> when exactly did you get that? <laughs> she got it before the Super Bowl. Wow. It was in February. How about that? Didn't so you know. know so you don't think NC State's live? No, I don't. I looked Good. at all four games, and, and I told everybody that I was sitting with last night. The only game I feel confident in picking the winner of the game, Marquette's beating NC State. Okay. Both Number dogs, one. either favorite or dog, can win the other three games. Gonzaga versus Purdue. Five and a half the line, 154 total. Would it surprise you if the Zags won this game? Betting it. Taking the points? Both. Oh, little sprinkle money line? Wouldn't surprise me at all. I I don't like, look, I don't like Purdue. I haven't liked Purdue all year. That's and personal. The metric, no, 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 it's not personal. Oh, it's this just, isn't personal? No, it's just, I, I just, I don't, I think they play in the Big Ten and they have a seven foot two kid and they get to bomb threes that are wide open because everyone collapses to worry about the big guy and it's easy to hit open threes. And I don't think they're going to have open threes tonight because Gonzaga's got size. They got two six ten kids who can come in. They got two six eight kids who can come in. They got they got size to throw at Edie to make him and you can push him around. Edie and Cockbrenner are very similar. They're used to being the biggest guys in the room, on the court, everything. They aren't they ain't tough. They're not physically tough. They're not mentally tough. Get in their head. You can push them around. Both of them are very similar. If you play physically physical with them, you can get under them, under their skin. Rebounding wins this game. Oh, then Gonzaga made it better be a five guy effort by Gonzaga to do that. Yeah. Rebounding's gonna win this game. I can't wait. I, I, again, we got some really good, good basketball games. Yeah. We got we got this one later. It's gonna be we'll get to it. We'll, we'll get to it. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, number one seed Houston up against four seeded Duke. Duke is a dog for the first time in like eight years in the tournament. Oh, actually, no, no, they no, way more dogs, than that. They were dogs no. at North Carolina. No, Duke has no in the NCAA tournament. Duke has not been a dog of four points or more since they since they played Arkansas in the national championship game. I think in the nineties. I gotta pull that stat up. Hold on. Let's see what that stat is. Someone said that. While stat. Matt is looking that up, here it is. Duke is not the winner of this game yeah. in the chat. Right Duke has not closed as a four point underdog or higher in the NCAA tournament since their 1994 game against Arkansas. 19 what? 94. It ain't like they ain't been in the tournament a bunch of times since then. Wow. That's a lot of basketball games. This is the largest dog price on duke that you've gotten since i was in high school damn bro okay damn bro they're like look at this houston cruises cougars duke houston houston bludgeons them jpc to fourth says what covey says i've houston minus four but a and m gave duke the blueprint houston rolls duke houston 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 h-town what is wrong with all you people? What are you? This is Duke hate. Refs decide. He, well, who Southern do you want Star. in that game? Southern, Southern Star 71. Who do Duke. you want? Well, Duke? they call it tight. They call it tight. It's Duke. They let it go. It's Houston. Houston. If you got the refs, if you think it's a ref game, you want it's Duke. Duke. 
if it's a ref game, it's Duke. If it's not, it's it's Houston. I mean, it's you know, I'm staying away from the second half. I think the first half is the play in that game. 1994 was 30 years ago. Damn, CBW. What were you doing 30 years ago, CBW? I was a junior in high school. I had uh I had finished college in 93. I was working three jobs in 94. Um that's when I discovered that I was allergic to cats. <laughs> 94. 94. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. I went Fine. over to a girl's place after yeah. hanging out. Then yep. You walked learned. in her house and I was like, I'm gonna die. You let the boys play, Chris. It's all Houston. You, 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 if you're Duke, you don't want that. I would expect John Shire to be working the referees hard right out mm. of the gate, all over them, all over the referees, trying to get them to call fouls against Houston. Under. Probably, but it's so low. 134 it is and a low. half. It's so low for a Duke team. If look, I this is how I'm handicapping the game. Under. Houston plays incredibly well in the first half like we know and duke yeah. has not played anything like houston all year nobody has when you see them it takes you a little time to get adjusted to them so the number being four scares me because i think that means duke can make big adjustments in the second half and i don't think they're going to shoot anywhere close to the way they shot against jmu so i expect a big regression game out of duke houston minus two in the first half i think it's the best way to play this game because i think it's going to take duke at least 20 minutes to adjust to the way houston plays so I expect a small lead for Houston, maybe four or five points. But I think at the break, Duke makes adjustments, and I want no part of what Duke will do with adjustments because I do think Shire's a good coach. And I think you could get Duke, you get Houston in foul trouble late, and they have no bench. They have no bench. They get tired. They don't have much depth at all to go to. So late in the game, I don't want any part of the four. Sounds a little bit like um, North Carolina and Bama. Four point spread. North Carolina wins the first half. Yep. Bama makes adjustments. Yep. Bama figures it out. Yeah. Bama I don't want any part of the second half with Duke. I don't want any part of Houston in that situation. That's that scares me a lot. So I stayed away from the game and just took Houston in the first half. And then finally, I this is just my whiskey and cigar pacing game that I I don't know what to do with. I'm not touching it. I'm not putting any money on it. I've got a. 15 to 1 on Marquette, 30 to 1, sorry, 15 to 1 on Tennessee. I've got a 30 to 1 on Creighton. And I'm just going to see who wins. And hope it's the Jays. Right. That's it. I I let's see Big East basketball flex tonight. Marquette and Creighton. Let's go. So you had those futures on North Carolina trash. Gone. You had a good price on who else yesterday? Iowa State. Gone. Arizona. Gone. My top Arizona. two shortest odds, gone. North Carolina was. 12 to 1 and 11 to 1 for Arizona. So I wasn't mad that those guys are gone. I am annoyed that I'm going to lose another one tonight, though. That bothers me because Tennessee plays Creighton. So I got one that's gone. So I need my 30 to 1 and my 20 to 1. Marquette's 20, Creighton's 30. I can still make up all the money. I can still make up on everything. Right. I just need one of them in right. the final four. <laughs> right. And I don't know I'm getting one of them in the final four. So Marquette plays Houston. I will be him. I will be heavy on Houston. Right. Okay. So. I'll come in. I'll come in money line heavy on Houston. All right. And if well, Creighton give wins, the, give Creighton the boys Purdue. and girls something to vote on. We got the uh, first vote was in. Who wins outright? Marquette seventy two percent, NC okay. State twenty eight percent. Outright winner. It's about right for a seven point favorite. I yep. would expect that. Put this one with the spread, please. Okay. Tennessee minus three. Creighton plus three. Big vote. This is a big game. Listen, we told you guys last Friday that the Saturday night Oregon tennis or Oregon Creighton game was going to be a great game. Yep. There was a lot of us watching it alone wherever we were, but we were kind of all together. You know how you could do that? You could get with people from all different parts of the country, all over the world. Get in our Discord. What's our Discord channel? The BVB Show.com. Right. Oh, the, like the, T-H-E, T-V-B show.com. Yep. Either way, the, the, it's in there. Um, You ain't even going to be incommunicado. You're completely away from all human civilization. This is when you tech. call me during the game and I answer the, and how I answer, I, I go, why the fuck are you calling me? That's, that, Will, <laughs> that's, 
I made that mistake a while ago. I never made it again. I'm afraid <laughs> to text you when you're watching one of your teams play. Because just of the this way. one, this this one's special. I didn't go to Creighton. I just I have such an affinity for Bruce Rasmussen, the former athletic director, and yeah. Dan Altman, and, and Greg McDermott, and Doug, and Nick, the McDermott family, Teresa, his wife. Like I I, I have such an amazing memory, and in, in, in Omaha is so special to my to my heart. And like, there's just so many things that I'm in love with, and I am hoping and praying that this trend is what continues. <laughs> there it is. That's the trend. Is that actually JC from KC himself with that? No, that's with that's that a royal. Royals hat on. It's a royal pitcher, I believe. Uh, that guy's is that looks like JC from KC with a goatee. Yeah. Rick Barnes is zero and ten against the spread, three and seven straight up as a single digit favorite in the NCAA tournament. And Tommy with Lloyd, NXT, how do you feel about that? And Tommy Lloyd did that. Oh, yesterday. Oh, okay. Oh, so I need Rick Barnes to do oh, the Tommy Lloyd. Oh. I, need, I need history to come in. I need Matt Painter and, and Rick Barnes. Keep the streak going. Regular Look season, Rick. Let's go. 20-second timeout to welcome David Tolman okay. to the chat. New subscriber to the channel. Just popped in right there. Hello, David. Brigade, welcome him in. Yes, sir. Good to see you. We're going to do roll call Friday here in exactly, what, seven minutes? Yeah, you got one yeah. more story to get to. Yes, oh, I won't. This is the last one, technically, but yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so guys, in exactly three minutes, put in your three digit air code. Not now because I can't find them when I scroll back in the chat. Somebody hit it with a super chat, and then we can have a marker. We well, here's back. the question, okay? Here's how many here's states we got 88 likes yesterday on Ooh. the YouTube channel. Close 40. One states today. Check in. Three countries, because we already got Connor Winsky down That's in easy. Jamaica. We, we already, already got, got Vinko Martin Savage in Croatia. So I think we could get Canada, one more. Canada and then one more. International yeah. check in. Yeah, okay, That's we're easy. gonna have a Canada. Five. There's gonna be five countries today. Five? Yeah. Well, five today. What do you uh, make of this though? Because I, I think a lot of people have this. I have the same thing going, different prices, but I have the same thing going with this. Do you add Tennessee? Good call, Chef B. Good. Listen, me and newbie did that. Uh, did my first experience doing a survivor pool yesterday, right? Okay. We had to pick Iowa State because we I already mapped it out. We we survived the first weekend. I used Arizona early because I didn't think they were getting to the final four. Okay. We used Illinois because it was a bunny. We couldn't pick Illinois yesterday. Right. I didn't. I said we can't pick North Carolina because they could lose to Alabama. I said mm -hmm. we should pick Clemson and take our shot. No one else would have had them, but you don't get a bonus pick for picking a dog that advances. So we left Iowa State. I started betting Illinois in the first half. Mm. I started betting. I was like, we ain't going to make it. And if we do, this is fine. I'll lose this. I'll sacrifice what I'm losing right now. 100% you should add Tennessee if you're watching the game with that purpose. I think we talked yesterday in between the games and you're like i didn't do it i'm like why not uh, Illinois? i couldn't do it you didn't do bama oh oh no the first game you didn't do the first game i didn't do any i didn't hedge at all yesterday it was arizona right. Ar arizona was i i was i was right. stunned arizona lost that right. game i you i did couldn't not believe bet clemson. You, and, so i i, I let clemson ride i was right. like you know what i'm gonna let arizona ride that was my first like uh-oh moment then i started to get a little tilted i was like okay I'm not going to do the Illinois thing because I felt like I was going to start chasing. I didn't want to chase because I felt tilted. I was like, you know what? I don't want to be just firing on these things when I'm pissed off and tilted. So I'm just going to let that ride right? and just take the L with Iowa State because it looks like they're going to lose because I think both teams are going to lose to UConn anyway. And then right. the game I was mad about, the game that pissed me off, was the Carolina-Bama game. That right. was the game I kept on trying to find a price that I wanted to take Alabama, and I right. couldn't bring myself to believe that they were going to lose the game. I was like, they're just not going to lose the game. They're not going to cover. Right. Like, they're not going to lose the game. I kept on. I couldn't believe that they actually lost that game. I still can't believe they right. lost that game. Right. Stunned. The passing was incredible. Well, that's what I mean. Like it's you. You have to get away from your eyes, from your ears, from your thoughts sometimes, and just do it. It's only money. 
we talked about that yesterday. I mean, trying to get my daughter back here and all this other right. stuff. It's just money. Like you'll figure it out. Yeah. You figure out how yeah. to get the money. Yeah. No, it's, I'm not losing it, like a significant amounts of money on this stuff. This is, this is, right. I, I am a conservative gambler. I love betting, but I don't ever bet a ton. I, I did get to take a pretty good smack yesterday because of the futures that went down, but like a smack. Yeah, it was bad. I got hit pretty hard yesterday. It sucked, but I still have a chance to make it back. Like if right. NC State goes on this crazy run, if, if NC State wins today, I bet I bet fourteen to one on NC State to win the East. I put a half a unit down on it. I, I'm playing for seven units for NC State up against Duke or Houston. So I can just come back in. I can. I make mean, up. you didn't think that anybody could beat UConn, but you think NC State could beat Houston? No, but but I I want it. The price was six to one versus fourteen to one. It's a totally different window there. I know, my, but you have my worry was UConn's either. going to be such a big favorite against Illinois or whoever they're going to play that the size, the money lines can be like minus 400, minus 500. Thank NC you. State won't be a, a nine point, 10 point dog to Purdue or to start Houston or to, or to anyone. I mean, okay. Houston just doesn't blow people out like that. They play low scoring games. They win, but they don't necessarily kill everyone that they play. Right. So, I, I at 14 to one, I have way more two and a half times the wiggle room to play with the other side to bet on Houston than right. I have to have to do to bet on NC State. So that's why I pulled the trigger on it, just because six to one wasn't enough value in my mind. All right. I disagree. Should have done it. It's fine. It's too it yeah. It's, it was it was a unit that I lost. I can make four or five units betting this way if NC State wins tonight. Or I have 20 to one on Marquette. So I have a 14 to one or 20 right. to one. <laughs> and a 14 to one is only one game. Yes. The 20 to one is three more games. Right. After tonight. So, so like that's, that's good. my theory right. as of yep. how I'm playing it out that I'm, I, I have either team advancing out of that game. Let's watch what happens on the top side with Houston and Duke. Yeah. And hope that it's Duke. <laughs> um, hope Duke shocks the world tonight. All right, everybody show uh, David what we do. Uh, our new guy again and hit the like button hit the subscribe button. we got to get over 90 likes today boys that's the first order of business second order of business three digit area code wherever you are right now watching the show from or if you're you know jr33312 who's you know probably going to be at the aviators game tonight um where he's from dayton ohio originally but in the 702 vegas three digit area code vegas is 702 Phoenix is 602. Pittsburgh is 412. New Hampshire, 603. New York City, 212. LA, 213. I mean, it's incredible how many times we, we I learned a new area code. Newport News, Virginia. I know we got a guy there. 757 is Virginia. It's good. Put it in there, boys. Let's go. p -Raw. What's mm -hmm. your number on the states? What do you what do you think we're dabbing? I said 39. 39. 39. 38 and a half was your number last week. We fell short by one. It's a good number, though. Mm-hmm. All right. You're gonna start with Sonic. Uh, is that the first one? Yep. In the words of Lionel Richie. All what right. Are we, what are we doing? Well, my friends, the your time is daughters come. are all in the chat. FYI, to raise the roof and have some fun, <laughs> throw away the work to be done. Let the music play on, play on, play on, play on. Everybody sing, everybody dance. I like you better when you rap. Lose yourself in wild romance. <laughs> We're going to party, caramba, fiesta forever. Come on and sing along all night long. We got. For the BVB Roll Call Friday. Heard it in the car on the way. You know I know that song. You guys know it too. Lionel Richie. All right. Sorry, girls, Kendall. Or the girls are in the chat. You said the girls Sorry, are in the Kendall. Chat? What? Both your daughters are in the chat cringing at the moment. Are Let's they? roll. Yes. Phoenix, Arizona. All right. I got to get this. How do I get this poll? I, I, it's, the poll is blocking my screen. This okay. missed poll. All right. Here we go. Sonic, 602, Phoenix, Arizona. Jimmy Jack, 4Ks. 585, Rochester, New York. Joe the Fat Panda, hope you and Little Pandas are doing good. 720, Denver, Colorado, not shoveling snow this week. God bless. 
Mm. PB941, Venice, Florida, 79 degrees. Bright blue sky, beautiful weekend ahead. You know what I need from you, PB? A picture on the Twitter because we got Vinny Konowinski. Got a picture from the beach. I need you with a palm tree or something in the background today. And if Mrs. PB wants to be in the picture with you too, do it because you got that nice baby blue hat uh, or the royal blue. Uh, JC from KC, 216, Cleveland, Ohio, 44 degrees. What? Avatar is Bobby Wood Jr. Thank you. That dude's a stud. We could get a BVB hat on him. Ooh, Chris yeah. Covey. That's, what? that's what? Nikki Ceramello. I skipping. do like that too. It skipping sound, around. What? Yeah. I'm rolling it right. I'm just yeah. reading them in order. J. Dow Betts, 410, St. Michael's, Maryland. Chef Benny, 401, Rhode Island. Don't be a bum. Hit the thumb. JPC to 4, 313, Detroit. Santana, 928, Yuma, Arizona. Baba no serpientes. Means let's go snakes. I can speak Spanish sometimes too. Here we go. Nikki Ciramella, future producer of the BVB. Does a great job. Nikki, I got to get you a hat. Pick a hat, Nikki. 520 Tucson, Arizona. TP, are you with me? Question mark. 206 Seattle BVB to the moon. Big supporter right there. TP, are you with me? He was on the show. Him and the wife were on the show it was, from Resorts true. World. True. It was fantastic. True. CBW315, Oswego, New York, sunny. Blustery. What? 37 degrees? It's 37 degrees somewhere. That's terrible. Yeah, upstate New York. Oh. Fish Killer 73, 540, Roanoke, Virginia, 65 degrees, sunny and windy. Happy Friday, Brigade. Happy Friday to you, Fish Killer. Kevin Whitrock, 319, Iowa City, Iowa, 61 and sunny there. Yes, we do. He is our dad, LOL. But, Kelsey, don't get in the Roll Call Friday, Kels, if you're not going to get in a Roll Call Friday. Put your area code where you're from. No, she, somebody asked, do any of, your, any of Dave's kids call him dad? That was the question to, to Kevin. Dad, bro. And Kelsey. They call me bro. Because on the air, they call you bro. They call me dude and bro all the time. Yeah. They call me jag off. <laughs> call me a lot of things. It's okay. Just keep calling. I'm here. Uh, Pierre Chevalier, 613 Ottawa, Ontario. Matt Gentry, 480 Mesa, Arizona. Mesa, Arizona's in a big lead. They're in a mm. big lead right mm -hmm. now. There's Cool Ross. Told Timmy Cooley Ross, 2000. That's four. Sydney, Australia. We needed you. It's the middle of the night. Timmy gets up in the middle of the night to watch us. I love it. Ryan Coot, there he is, tipped in Missouri, 660-LL-480, Chandler, Arizona, 77 degrees. My goodness, is the AZ representing? Representing! John Serrett, 304, Oak Hill, West Virginia. Hello, sir. Good to see you. Uh, we call John, sir, because John is one of our senior members of the brigade, holding it down in West Virginia. Francisco Ochoa, my man, it was great seeing you last week. Popped in, drove in just for the BVB meetup. That hat looks great on you. Does. You matched the fit on the show last week. If you haven't seen, you need to see Francisco Ochoa. Go back and watch the show on a YouTube channel at symbol Boston versus the book. Geo to WAP 949 Seal Beach. Perfect weather and coming off a rare MLB opening 6 and 0 Damn. board sweep. Good job. Geo, we need you to come on the show. Give us the baseball. You got to get great. Geo next week. Geo's out hitting up bars for places for us to do the show in Seal Beach, Long Beach, all about the beach. Gave us the beach hat. He's a proud brigade proxy service mm, member. He is. He signed up for the service, got in the contest, made the picks. And um, Geo's a big, he's a big part of what we're doing. We're going to do more. West with Coast Geo. crew. Yep. Agreed. Yeah. Geo's part of the crew. No question. Stevie. No. Ramkey. No, nope, Vico three Cincinnati, Ohio. Nope, you skipped over. I uh, Vico's below that one on my chat. Huh. Vinko three eight five Croatia. Vinko Martin Sevic. That is country number five. Furthest away, youngest so far in the chat, other than my kid Kendall, my other kid Kelsey. Yep. Oh, thinking about the kids a lot. Um. This weekend, D Stout 19 507 Pipestone, Minnesota, Roginator 319 Washington, Iowa. There's Mikey, awesome. Hello, sir. Good to see you. You and Aaron have a great weekend with the kids. Uh, back in Virginia, 757 ODU, Brigadeville, Virginia, LFG 
Southern Star 71. Hello. Great to see you. Nancy, Kentucky, 606. I just sent a package to Kentucky this week for the first time, a BVB lid. You nice. guys, you can text the text line, 702-570-8255. Send that text. If you want a hat, we can work on it. Guess what I'll be doing this weekend? Getting with the hat guy. Got some some other orders oh. to fill, so send the hats. Um, Scott Bartholomew, our guy, every single week up in Ketchikan, Alaska. I didn't even, P-Roll, did you even know there was a place called Ketchikan, Alaska before Scott uh, showed up in our chat? No. No, that would be, no. be negative. 100% no. Did negative. not know. This no. is, so we're learning geography on the show. Thank sure. you, Scott. Appreciate Word you, for sir. It. Sure. Sharpie <laughs> underscore RW. 303 Denver, Colorado. Pat Murray. Pat's in the 412. You know where that's at. Pittsburgh, PA. Did you see the pirate game yesterday? Oh my God. Nice comeback. They trailed. They came all the way back. Multiple. You want to talk about excitement? Put that ghost runner on the base in extra innings in the 10th, in the 11th, in the 12th. That was exciting baseball. Dumb. I think it's war. It was awesome. Dumb. Kelsey Sherpin. Thanks, Kelsey. 702. Good to see you. Keep up the good work. I don't know what we're doing for lunch. Oh, I have no idea. Max in I'm doing the show. Stevie Max, 717. He's now in Lancaster, PA. We need somebody from Oklahoma. Every week, Stevie Mac represented the Henrietta, Oklahoma. We may lose a state. We got a new state. We got a new dab. But he's holding it down in PA now. Kyle Meyer, 541, Eugene, Oregon. Roger Long. Happy birthday, sir. Uh, my man, I'm sorry I missed you on Sunday last week. I texted Nate. We missed cross paths. We got to go watch basketball maybe later tonight, or we're going to get together with some Indiana boys. Uh, we'll talk about you, Raj, uh, tonight. Dave's Daily Picks and the other guy. Mm. Social Giant, 319 Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Look at that beard. My God. E. Ron Sean, 703, Centerville, Virginia, 62 degrees. John, 724, Greensburg, PA. Go, Buckos! Oh, that was so exciting. I'm so excited about the baseball season. Uh, Adam, is that Adam with two M's? Yes, it is. 2555, Columbus, Ohio, 614. Welcome, C Bus. Sports Avengers, 724, Sharon, Pennsylvania. Who's zigging and who's Gonzaga? Very witty. I like what you did there, Spencer. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Nikki Ciramello, stop talking while we're doing. If you're going to help produce the show, Nikki, you got to pay attention. For about 15 minutes, we recognize everybody where they're at on Roll Call Friday. Don't put comments in there right now. Blue Spader, 702 North Las Vegas. Kelsey, stop asking these questions. Roll Call Friday coming or what? We're doing it right now. Jeez. Kendall, 702 Vegas, 67 and cloudy. Ross Randall. 978 Amsbury, Massachusetts. 46 cloudy and blowing. What? Like, like a, a banjo. Huh. Is that is that possible? It's a New England. It's New England term, yeah. Okay. I, I almost I almost blushed myself when I read blowing like a banshee. <laughs> Woo! Start to sweat. George Mason, 902 Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, Canada. My man, Georgie Mason, furthest tip of North America away. Along with, look, can you imagine how far Ketchikan, Alaska are from Prince Edward Island? Mm, I mean, those places good question. Are far yeah, apart. They're that's both far here far. right now. We're that's far, far. Mason's yeah. getting a hat. We're communicating via the text line. Corey McBeth, 402, Omaha, Nebraska. Andy Caston, 702, Las Vegas. Got a lot of Nevada. Vegas today. Got a lot of Vegas today. I love it, boys. Keep showing up. We'll be out watching the games, I think, this weekend. I'm going to put it out. Maybe we'll meet up Saturday somewhere, maybe watch a game. WV Punch Drunk 304, Clarksburg, West Virginia. Masters in 11 days. Rolled my ankle at work last night. Uh-oh. Not good. Take that thing up, Punch Drunk. Addison, 812, Hoosierville, Indiana. JR, 33312, 702, Vegas, Johnny Parlay. 513, native of Dayton, Ohio, home of Michael Jack Schmidt. And yes, I'll beat the Aviators games this weekend. Opening night tonight for the Aviators, boys and girls. Oh, nice. I think all the daughters and I are going to go. It's fireworks night. But oh, I told them I'm watching the basketball game tonight. So I don't think I can make it tonight. Yeah. So we'll see. There's Konowitzki. 
876 Montego Bay. Here we go. Let's go 85 and hot. That's beautiful. Caught Vinny, you looked great in that hat. I thank you so much. Literally made my morning. That was my favorite thing about today before the show started. I was like, we got a guy who I've never met taking a picture with the same hat as I got on right now in Montego Bay every Friday. If Jamaica. you guys can do that, if you have the Twitter, take a picture of where you're at. I don't with care the hat. if it's in your backyard. Yeah. Put this state so other people can say it because other people keep telling me and P-Roll, oh, your guys' numbers are this. Oh, you guys just got hats. Oh, by you the guys way, don't got hats. By the way, Trista wants to come on the show on Monday. Trista? Yeah. She's on. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. All right, good. Um, football guy 97. Again, congratulations, you and your daughter, for winning the state championship in PA, 717 Lancaster, PA. Chef B, keep them numbers up, baby. Well, Let's go. Our, that's our first ever Alabama. How about that? Chris Covey, 205 Tuscaloosa, Alabama, roll tide. Covey's the, in, the, in the Alabama. 205 is Tuscaloosa. Yeah, Alabama. that's no. that's Tuscaloosa, Birmingham. Oh, that's what we needed. Yep, that's our first Bama ever. There's Luke who just popped in the chat. He's always there. He's always lurking. He's always <laughs> watching. Thank God for Will. There's Will Garten. 860 Yukon country. Now he's going to pop in. Now he's going to pop popping in Yukon. Will, mm -hmm. I love you to death. You know that. Me and P. Roll, thank you yes, every single day. 100%. For what you do to make this show reappear on the sports grid every single night and on Sirius XM. Well, we got some interesting movement here. Okay, let's let's go here. This is good. We're Marcelo Anda, yeah, my states. brother from another mother. Oh, my God. 504, what, New Eric Orleans, Louisiana, 407. clear 76. He's doing a lot of things with the hats. Marcelo is dreaming, thinking, got a big nugget. I got to talk to the guy about the lids. There's Mr. Anderson. Uh, let's see. Who's so weird? Kelsey, stop talking while we're doing the thing. <laughs> Please. She is a brick house. Matt, I'm so sorry. What are you apologizing to him for? Stop talking in the chat. Don't you have somewhere to go? Please. Oh, no. not yeah. that <laughs> Kendall, someone had to say it. What? Say what? Leave me say alone. What? Say what? Say, say, say this. what? Say what? Say what? Tim Hazinga, 616 Grand Rapids. All night long. You're damn right. All night long. Oh, all night long. All right. I think that's it. I ain't got nobody no, else for no, roll call. No, no. Uh, uh, Chris. Hey. Uh, I'll roll through it. Get out. Are you kidding me? Hi. Get out of here. That's tremendous. It? What's up? That's great. Uh, How are you? Good. I'm glad you did it. We were talking about it after. They said, tell her to get on a damn plane and come home for Easter. Yes! I'm happy to see you. Good to see you, Beacon Sig. I'm <laughs> glad you did it. Did you fly this morning or yesterday? Nope, last night. Last night. Phenomenal. Yeah. Good to be home? Yeah. Of course. I'm excited, yeah. Good to see you. Happy you Easter. Nice? Happy Good Friday. Well, great to see you. Thank you. <laughs> Wow. That's tremendous. Right. We'll, we'll talk to you after the show. Okay. That's great. I'm glad you did it. That's that's phenomenal. They don't uh, tell me anything in this house. That's great. Oh, that's my oldest big can sing. Just came home. I was I was talking to you yesterday after the show. You were looking for the flights. Yeah. I think she took the flight you said to take. Awesome. Good. I, I, did I, you text I mean, my wife. No, I just, we, we were just talking and it was, I looked at the flight and go, how far away is she from Newark? He said, 15 minutes. I said, she can be on a flight in an hour. Just tell her to get, get on a cat, get on an Uber, go to the, go to the airport, walk on, take a backpack, sit and fly. That's what we're making all that noise. Oh, Makes man. sense. It was wait. She must've been waiting. Oh, uh, huh. I see. Okay. Fathead here. How are you? Fathead. Trey, Trey California. 34 Mac, appreciate you. Uh, Boss429, welcome. Appreciate you guys. More Iowa. We, we got Rod Nader already in here with Iowa. Uh, let me see. 702, bench is clear with the Brewers and the Mets. Ooh, Hello. Uh -oh. Opening day, bench Hello. is clearing. Yikes. Chris Garvey again in London, Ontario. Very cool. Uh, Kentucky, B-Rad, what's going on? Appreciate you. Tennessee for Joseph Mogan. This is great. We can cross off Tennessee on the list there. That's another new one. Uh, Salem, Iowa coming in. Let's see. Oh, North Dakota. Contour. Yes. 22. Contour. We, 
Yes, we needed we had, that. We a, lot of, we a lot of unique Fine states off. today. This is cool. North Dakota, uh, let me see. Make over this number. Come on, we got like four or five minutes left before we sign off. Sterling, all Virginia, Columbus, oh. Ohio. Uh, another Ohio coming in with T. Wally. What's going on? Um, let's see. Catch a can, Alaska to Charlestown, PE is a 72 hour drive. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you even do that? That's you, tremendous. Is there a road that would help get you there? That's oh, uh, technically, yeah. You just drive through Canada, right? You, you could you, you get there. PSU Sheppy, I, I agree. PSU Sheppy, add a girl, get her home. That's that's tremendous to awesome. see her come home. Awesome. That was, I can't wait to go. They're probably all leaving. That's an older. <laughs> now I know why they're all they're, they're they're watching me in the chat. That they're all watching to see when all that started. That was perfect timing. Oh, uh, I see. I see. Here, Where's I for Eric everyone. Anderson? Don't start any. Don't start Anderson. <laughs> 208. Idaho. There's 208. Idaho. Way there's to go, a, Tolman. There's Bam. Idaho. Wow. A lot of unique. We got the whole mid. We're getting the Midwest. We got the whole pocket. We got little pockets of states where we don't yeah, have. This, like, this one is interesting. This is interesting. So, one, two, three, four, five countries. Uh, we always check off Hawaii because we know our guy's always watching in Hawaii. So he always watches the replay, which you guys can do if you miss yeah. it. Go back and watch the replay. The day after, you can see the chat. You can see who pops in and who pops out. It's awesome. Go do that as well. Please tell somebody let, about let, the show. Let me make sure there's nobody else that we that – was, that was a good moment. I agree, Roger. That was awesome. That was a good Man, moment. Man, I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm that was so a great, excited. That was a great moment to see her come on. You think on. they're not listening? Who? Like, you, the kids, like, you know, oh. everybody in this joint that got kids, yep. you talk, you talk, you talk, you talk, and you think they're not listening and you don't know, and you really don't know about life. I mean, like I got a curveball this morning talking to Sheppy that I, 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 I feel I'm ready to fly to Pittsburgh and sit with him for breakfast tomorrow. Like, okay. I mean, I, I can't believe it, how fast it can all turn. And then you go, man, all I want is my daughter to, to come home for, for, the weekend because she's off and I don't want her to be alone. No. So I'm glad they listen. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just glad I'm, I'm going to find out exactly. I don't care how much it costs. I'll <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm glad she's here. Eric could four, one, two is train in the four, one, two, baby. Watching your daughters last Pittsburgh. week was hilarious. Hilarious for who? I mean, <laughs> seriously, I am like Rodney Dangerfield and family. <laughs> Absolutely. No respect. No respect. I tell you none. Zero. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, well, that goes shade. That's a, that's a 42 to one in Tennessee over that's UConn nice 65. There, one. Zach. Woo, okay. That's a nice split. Uh, wow. Grand Rapids, Michigan, a little Timmy action there. We'll make sure we're getting everybody in here for Timmy roll call. Friday. Zinga! I think that's everyone. Oh, there we go. Atlanta. There we go. ATL Coos, Georgia. We got Atlanta. We got the, Georgia. The Georgia. betting bill didn't pass in Georgia. Did you hear that? It did. I know it did not. I mean, my gosh, we have the entire South except for South Carolina and Mississippi. Well, Covey wow. is lives in Charleston, South yeah, Carolina. But we, but we checked off Alabama for him. So down can't in count, Bama. Can't count him twice. Can't double count. So him. can't count it twice. I can't double count it. But he's into. I, I mean, we we get to go ahead and. How many different area codes have I lived in? Oh. Um, we'll, we'll get the answer to that in bonus time. Yeah, I'll think gonna take a minute because let got, me figure that out. Listen, I've, <laughs> I've, lived in seven, I've lived in seven states, so right. it's it's you know, I've lived in a lot, so that's going to be oh, there it is, South Carolina. Yes, there sir. Andy, oh, bam, dab it, dab Missi that one on Mississippi the is the only state in the south. Well, we covered interesting. This is wild. When I post it up during bonus time, I'll put the, the map up, the, the dab map up because there's a lot of really cool things going on here. David Tolman just came in a chat and had a very good question. Since I'm extremely new to the channel, are you guys live every day or every other day? We're live every day. Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. No weekends, but Monday through Friday. And then you go on the, that's why I go onto the Discord, the Discord channel, the BVBshow.com. That's the weekend side of things. You'll see us right. on the weekends, jumping in, talking, exactly. having some stuff in there. We'll do some more okay. stuff this summer, this football season, whatever. But yes, yes. Uh, Discord channel is where to get us on the weekends. But during the show, yes, Monday through Friday, here two two thirty Eastern time, right? Every live day. and the replays this. later and all that other stuff. Yes. yes. Uh, if you guys are with us live on YouTube, 
and on Twitter. You're not moving. We got a lot more to come here. A bunch of stuff going on. Yes, Friday night's on Sports Grid. Correct. Dave was on Sports Grid almost every single day. I'm not on- today. Neither one of us. We got the us. night off tonight. And tomorrow, too, for me. Friday Universe and Saturday. is working. <laughs> I me. think it would have been a bad show had we been watching it while we're doing it, trying to do it while Creighton was playing Tennessee tonight. Amen to that. Well, technically, we would have been off five to seven. The Jays game tips at seven, right? Our time? So oh, we yeah. We, okay. So it would have been, been, it been uh, the lead yeah, we, up to We wouldn't have, we, yeah. Yeah, we, we would have been the pregame show. So right, it, okay. it would have been a little, been a little easier. But if you guys are watching with us live, don't move. If you guys are with us on Sirius XM or on Sports Grid, thank you for being here. Monday, come and talk to us again. Same place, same time. Bonus time starts now. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry, JC. We're, we're, we're all off. No Friday night. So, and, and David, thank you. We're so glad. Go tell somebody about the channel. We appreciate thank you, man. You. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you for sure. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff still to run through quickly before we get going yep. here. Uh, Phoenix is laying two. These are five games involving teams in the Western Conference playoff battle. Okay. The Suns are a half a game out of sixth here. Okay. So the Suns are in the play in at the moment, but they're trying to get up into the sixth spot. Correct. Laying two on the road. That play in is going to be nasty for the West. <laughs> they're going to, I mean, whoever can is going to try to avoid it. 100%. Is SGA not playing tonight? Sounds like it. He's out. That's what that line tells me, right? Yeah. But also, I think it's because OKC doesn't really need it. The Suns need it. Like, you got to put that in the, in, the, in, the, in the line, don't you not? Motivation factor? Well, again, you have to put it the way people are going to bet it, too. Mm-hmm. I don't care about – I have no idea what the motivation is. Okay. When I make the number. The numbers pick. That's in my head. Okay? SGA is doubtful. This number tells me we got to put it up now. Okay. As soon as it's announced, he don't play. Okay. Then it if runs. you like OKC, you wait. Okay. Makes sense. Because if he plays, this flips. So, again, okay. if he's doubtful, he's listed doubtful, you can't do nothing yet. Um, And by the way, for RL, just don't watch the show if you don't like the way we talk about the NBA. Like, it's pretty simple. Like, no, it's a free show. Like, I love the NBA. Yeah. He just keeps on this dude, keeps on commenting every day about our, our, he, he, he must be an NBA expert in his own mind. So, yeah, just, uh, just his comments every day on the, on the thing about us not. I used to do the lines for books worldwide for the NBA. Yeah. We, but we don't, we, we don't, we don't know anything. Uh, Sacramento's laying one to (laughs) Dallas. They're a half a point. They're half a game behind the Suns for the seventh spot. This is awesome. They just played this game. Yep. A couple of days ago, right? Dallas whipped them. Pistol Dallas whipped them. again. If you need an example, a recent bias example, how <laughs> Boston a, do yesterday? Oh, my God. How Boston do in Atlanta? I, they spent the whole week in Atlanta. It was a good thing we saw Tatum on NBA on TNT. NBA on uh, in TNT was he was on the show. Yeah. You see that? He, he did a great job with Shaq and Candace Parker. Um, yeah, but they got... I mean, they lost as 16-point favorites. See, how come That's we don't my... start to show what happened about last night when the Celtics lose back-to-back games as 17-point favorites? Because they clinched. It don't matter. It don't matter. If it mattered, I would, I would absolutely be on here. I'd be nervous. I'd be upset. It does not matter <laughs> at all. Never matters when they lose like that. They have 17 losses. 17. Two of them to the Atlanta Hawks this week. Don't After they clinched. After, after they went to a strip club for four days straight, like who cares? <laughs> like that's where they were. You know that or you just this is allegedly. It's allegedly, but it's Atlanta. Like, it's, that's just yes, in case the lawyers. Are it's, less, it's less. It's less allegedly and more likely. <laughs> it's Atlanta. Uh, Lakers are dogs at the Pacers. LA's two and a half games up. They're two and a half games up on Golden State for the ninth spot. Ninth spot hosts the play in game, which would be a winner take all. Loser goes home, goes to play golf in Cancun if it's Warriors Lakers. So the ninth spot's important. Pacers win this game tonight. No, I like Pacers. Bet it or book it. Minus four. Bet it. Lakers stink. Thank you. Uh, Warriors are laying 12 and a half. You heard James say 13 points. Take Charlotte tonight. Golden State is one game up on the Rockets. 
if the Rockets catch the Warriors, the Warriors miss the playoffs. Not even a play-in tournament. So Wetzel has a bet on the Rockets to make the play-in. 16-1. to 1. They have to beat them. They lose the tiebreaker. Okay, so they got to be ahead of them. Okay. So they have to be ahead of them. It's crazy because they lose the tiebreaker to both the Lakers and the uh, the Lakers and the Warriors. So to catch them, they have to actually beat them. All that being said, it's Charlotte or nothing. I agree with that. Tonight. Warriors on the road? No, thank you. Lane 12, 13. Can't do it. Out Get out of here. Oh, by the way, thank you, Nikki. Breaking news. Eagles are trading us on Reddick to the Jets for a third round pick. Different color green, at least. I mean, he got all the green stuff already. Right. <laughs> Kelly green know. versus Jet green. Uh, let's see. Be kind of a bummer. No? Going from the Eagles to the Jets? Absolutely. What does this number tell you? Houston goes from minus five to eight. Jazz have lost seven straight. Big movement on this, and Houston okay. needs it. Means we might open that thing a little bit light. <laughs> they came yeah. in heavy. I don't want no Utah. I want no Utah in this. Ten. What number do I have to give you to say, you know what? Utah's a good bet. Ten? Would Ten or eleven. I, I don't I don't love Houston on the road. So they're a different team on the road. Utah is terrible. They are. And but Houston on the road is not great. They're better at home than they are, but they need the game. So I, I just use Houston as a money long uh, a money line leg. If you're gonna do a parlay, just throw Houston in there. They win right. the game. Just a matter of right. how many points they win the game by right. on that. Uh, and then one hockey game, only one hockey game all tonight. New Jersey, Buffalo, six and a half total. Devils favored. Huge slate of games tomorrow. Oh. Monster. Over to probably for this game. It's Buffalo, right? I mean, I don't want I don't know about the side. I didn't even know there was a hockey game until you just brought it up right now. I thought they took the day off when I opened my app this morning. I didn't I didn't look. I I that must have had it so I couldn't see it. Yeah. Oh, no goal in the first five minutes. Really? Interesting. Okay. Hello, Chef B. Yeah, tomorrow will be a sport G. I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> you heard that term? Oh boy, I never heard. Oh yeah, that's, <laughs> true. yeah. That, that's that's gonna be tomorrow. Oh absolutely. My God, there's God, there's so much sports before. tomorrow. It's absolutely crazy. Oh it's just God. yeah, there's wow, wow. Oh, Phil, Philly's Braves, no score through five. Oh wow. Yeah, they are, on that baseball there are 14 game. NHL games tomorrow. Brewers beat the Mets, by the way. Final two one, three one. Okay, interesting. So two hunters right out of the gate, right there. Like I bet yesterday, unfortunately. Today is the day they're going under, I guess. Okay. Uh, time now for our fun. We'll do, we'll save the mass st story for Monday. It's too good of a story to do it here at the too end of the show. Story. Yeah, we'll, yeah do it on, it we'll do it on do it on Monday. Better to book it. Ooh, hey, got a fire. <laughs> Okay, better to book it time. Arizona Diamondbacks run line against Colorado. It's minus 109 on this. <laughs> We're just going to fade the Rockies like crazy. <laughs> this is going to be my fade team for a while. Is it? Yep. Just hammer the hammer. Anyone playing the Rockies, they're going to suck. What happens after a team scores 16 runs in a game? They win the game 4 1, 4 2. They're not going to score. I mean, I'm not betting over in the game. That's for sure. No way. But Diamondbacks are winning the game. Mm. Okay. Merrill Kelly at home last year was tremendous. Right. Much better on the, at home than on the road last year. And a guy who, you know, after what just happened with Gallon, give him the baseball, let's go. And then I think they're throwing, what's his name? Um, Montgomery tomorrow. Oh, my. Right? Let me see. Uh, let's Let see. see. No, please. Henry. Gomber okay. and Henry tomorrow and then in Arizona. Are they throw on him Sunday? Uh, Let's Colorado. see. Uh, no. The P-F-A-A-D-T. So the first. Wow. Fat. The, fat. Brandon fat. Yep. So that's cool. Um, I mean, I like Brendan Fat at home last year was money. Was for good. Me. I bet I'm like crazy at home last year. Yep. So, yes. Run line today. Run line tomorrow. Run line Sunday. Arizona sweeps. Wow. Four game sweep all on the run line. You okay? So when Running. we come back Monday, you think um, Diamondbacks are four and zero? Yes. <clears throat> oh, they're four and zero. I think they're four and zero on the run line. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I think they're four and zero on the run line. 
Well, wow, CMAX is 12 to three D backs tonight. <laughs> wow. Another over. Yeah. And this will be another play too. This will be oh, the other no. thing we'll look at. I'm not going to bet this yet, but this is the other one, Dave team total under Colorado is also going to be a very good bet. That's also going to be in play this year, depending on the pitchers. Yep. In non course games too. Yep. Just don't, don't bet on the road. Course. Listen, on the road. on the road, they're go against and they're probably the team that's, the game's at is yeah. an over team total bet. And, yeah. the, you know, they're going to be under. I just think we got to be careful until we see them in Colorado. Brandon Zags- Scott just stole second base. He's, oh, he, did, he grabbed his hand when he got up. He has one of those mittens. Okay. The girls are watching the show. Yeah. Bryson just stole the, Bryson just stole the Zags game. plus five and a half tonight. Sprinkle the money line. I think it's a bet. The books found the number. I mean, it ain't going up. No, it stopped. It was if five. You, I mean, if you like, if you like the Zags, you got to grab five and a half pregame. Yeah, because you ain't getting better number pregame. It ain't going to six, boys and girls. It just ain't. So, nope. If you like the Zags, play it. Houston minus two in the first half against. Duke. I don't know about this. Okay, this one I'm booking. I'm not sure. I don't know what I don't know about Houston. What don't I you don't know, know about Houston? They curb stop people in the first half. It's been the one of the most profitable bets of the college basketball season. I know, which means nothing now. They, they didn't cover in the last game. Correct. Now they do. Duke is so such a variable to me right now. Well, they're shooting. Yeah, they're young. They're young and inconsistent. They're young, inconsistent, but they shot sixty-eight percent or something from three in the last game against JMU. Yeah, now, I say book this one. I'm, I'm just not sold. I don't know. Thank you, Roger Long. I, I, I would take it, too. Taking that, too. All right, Roger. I, I did take it. And then and this is a strategy. NC State to win the South bracket at 14-1. to 1. If they're right and it's 14-1 to 1, Marquette gets bounced and we got NC State sitting there at 14-1 to 1 up against Houston, I like where I am. Oh, my God. The Phillies well, just went ahead 2-0. Nice. And fifth on a homer. Places like it. It feels like it's a, it's a playoff game there. Opening oh. day, it is. Oh, Marsh goes bomb. Nice. Marsh, Marsh, Marsh went deep. <laughs> Ball got up in the wind. He looks like later. he hasn't shaved since last year. How do you oh, play wait. baseball with that full beard like that? You got NC State to win a South Bracket. I'll book that one. Good luck. Well, yeah. I hope no, I hope not, you're live. It's not a bet. Oh, it's gonna oh. be well, I'm, I'm either live 20 to 1 or 14 to 1. Either or. I'm live. Right. I'm, and, and Nick on Sunday, I'm live. So I it doesn't matter which which I don't team think NC State is beaten. Um, boy, this will be, I mean, if we come in Monday with this winning, no, Houston, what would you rather have if this one, if we show up Monday to do the show, you've cashed this or you're live to the market in markets in the final four, which one or the other? Yeah, I mean, I would show. personally love to see Marquette and Creighton play in the final four. That's my, that's what I want. <laughs> that's what I want. That, that's that's the final four. You ask me what I want. That's what I want. I want Creighton and Marquette in the final four in Arizona. Right. That would be absolutely tremendous. Thirty wow. and twenty to one, both live, with okay. a guarantee. With a guarantee, one of those two teams are making the championship game. Ooh, wow! And then it could be an all Big East final. With you, you can imagine if three of the four teams in the final four are Big East teams. How awesome that would be. Jeez, that would be awesome. You'd be so great. I would be in love with it. Wow. That actually could happen. It could, but I don't think it's going to, but it could happen for sure. Uh, super chat question. I'm going. Come on. To be answered by you guys. We got here. we got a bunch of them to jump in with. Yeah, here. let's go. Joseph Myers. Dave, you sent my address and hat oh. choices. Much appreciated. Look forward to wearing them. Good job on that for Joseph Myers. Chef Benny, uh, oh, you're frozen. Stop talking. Hold on. You are frozen. We snapped Don't it. Say a word. All right. Snap okay. your fingers. Uh, you should be good. Should be good. Uh, Quinnipiac Bobcats take the ice tonight in their quest to repeat. Quinnipiac's minus 15 versus Wisconsin, 530 Eastern. Quinnipiac is a two hour bus ride to Providence to play it. Let's go, Bobcats. I like that play with Quinnipiac. It's his school. College hockey is so good. 
Uh, JPC the fourth. Happy Easter. Tigers are in first place, at least until tomorrow. It's very, very <laughs> true. Yes. Take it while you got it. Uh, and then Sonic, random happy Easter super chat to you too, sir. Thank you Thank for you. that. I appreciate that. Yes. Uh, and then Covey says, sorry, I'm in South Carolina, not Alabama, but I'm really feeling the tide. Love you all. Wouldn't spend my non-productive afternoons anywhere else. <laughs> Hope to come on, talk one day about sports. Like I'm as smart as all the other guests. Well, you were on before Covey. You came on before. Yeah. So you 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 one one of the brigade members actually was part of this. That's Favorite right. thing about today was what? Well, damn! I was gonna be Connor Winsky posting a picture of him in uh in the islands in Montego Bay, but Big Ken Sig's home for the weekend. They they made an executive decision, not the tattoo decision, but they went and got this kid home. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm happy as hell. I'm a proud dad. That's my favorite thing about today. Oh, yeah, I'll be great. lucky to see her in passing probably for the next 48 hours. But you told her though. Remember what you told her though. You said, I I don't said, care. Come I, home. I yeah. honestly and I don't care. I know she's gonna be have, you know, uh, she's gonna eat with us on Sunday, and that's all. I'm sure Grandma and Pap Pap are gonna be happy to see her if they haven't seen her already. Right. I don't know what went on downstairs. I mean, I snuck in the house and all this other stuff. This is great. What a surprise. I understand now. I had one of those moments when I saw her around the corner, this, uh, this thing I got in my room with this camera. Right. How happy my dad was when we came home from college. Like I'm literally tearing up thinking about him right now because nice. he used to sit around and just, stare at the chaos and he used to just sit around i mean because there were five of us and okay. we would bring friends over we would play shoot hoops in the back we i mean it was nuts and the holidays when we all started to move away mm. he used to sit in the corner of the couch and just go like this and i'd look over and go what are you looking at and he'd just go like this nothing and smile and that's awesome that's just that's that's my favorite thing about today it's very cool. If you guys are interested at all, I will be living Creighton today on my Instagram. It's at Sports Talk Matt. I'm going to be posting different videos and whatnot. So if you want to live vicariously through, my favorite thing about today is that the Creighton Blue Jays have a chance to go play for an Elite Eight for the second time in school history okay. up against the guy in a coach who cannot win. Hopefully that continues. I'm very, if, if, if I, you put a gun to my head, who is winning? Tennessee is going to win this game. I've been very high on Tennessee all year. I'm very angry that, the, that this is going to be a Tennessee. The Tennessee is playing the Jays. I hope I'm wrong. I, I want to be wrong. I don't think I'm going to be. I think it's going to be Tennessee advancing. But I'm going to enjoy myself and have some fun. And you know, I I, I hope I hope we're there. And yes, absolutely. And 100 percent pacing videos with Rocker coming in on my Instagram at Sports Talk Matt tonight. We'll be doing that here uh, for anybody who is in town. Um, oh, shut up, Tyler. What? Rumors flying around that Vescovy might be out for Tennessee. Ooh. What's the line? What's the line? Hold on. What's the line? Is it boo? Vescovy is out. That's huge. It's a huge shooter for them being out. That's Let's the Jays play defense a lot easier with Cockburner on the around the rim. If that's true, rumor. But if you're right, Tyler, that's tremendous. Let's see. I don't know. It's three and a half. It's going, it's going up, but maybe the news isn't out there yet that, you know, so mm. this would be fun. So my favorite thing about today is that let's go create blue Jays. I heart blue our high. I heart BJs as we will run around with and have it volunteer. Say, yeah. <laughs> we'll do I that. Love BJs. That's the, you spell the create and blue Jays as one word and it's the Toronto blue Jays with two words. Just, the distinction. I couldn't find the Creighton hat this morning. I literally, I legitimately look for the distinction. I this and that. Yeah, that gross. Roll damn Jays. I'm with you, Sharpie. Roll damn Jays. Absolutely. Let's go. That's all we go today. We'll see what happens. Guys, thanks for being here. Appreciate you guys being all part of this. Like, subscribe, tell somebody about the show. We'll be back on Monday recapping it all. The final four will be set when we talk to you guys on Monday for another episode of BVB. All night long.